Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to Are You Garbage. Please make sure you go subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you get the videos as they come out. Yeah, do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Mm -hmm. The show where we sit down with your favorite comedians and find out if they grew up classy or if they're absolute trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here in Aunt Tootie's basement. Mm -hmm. she, uh, she was on her way back from Washington. <laughs> yeah, she's Some still people came to the door this morning, and now I'll see her on Tuesday at the arraignment. Sure. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He uh, He's the, the CEO of Are You Garbage? He cooks the books. He keeps us all in line. Gang, the next time you're reaching for a best pal, do yourself a favor. Make it a kippy. Give it up for Kevin James Ryan. Hey, what's up, everybody? First of all, thanks for tuning in. Please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. And then obviously, Patreon.com. Join that fucking army of garbage, baby. Help us keep the lights on. Mm -mm -mm. Wet our beaks a little bit. We got bail money to cover. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, we, uh, if you join, we will uh, answer one of your garbage questions on there. We will fucking do bonus episodes. We do live streams with you guys. Check it out. A lot of good stuff on there. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Kippy. And how about a nice shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the pride of the Chicago <laughs> comedy scene, the fucking magic man, T-Bone, Toby McMullen. Yeah, T-Bone. Hey, what up? How about the Bears? <laughs> uh, play, wait, Go no. Bears. Can we just come out? Oh, we had a great game on Sunday. <laughs> the Saints came marching in. We stomped them out. Or... Fuck Matt Nagy. We've been saying he's a piece of shit all year. We knew it was coming. The loss ain't going to stop us next year. You should do two in case they lose. Do two different versions. Yeah. I just did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, check, we checked out when Toby talked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, you should do that thing you did. What? Oh, sorry. Okay. Say deep dish. Keep it moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Gang, we could not be more excited to have our incredibly Ooh. special guest Got here with us one. today. We've been trying to work this out for a while. Yeah, a lot of sit downs out there on Dipmar's Boulevard a lot of to talks. make that happen. Yeah, a lot of sit downs, a lot of co consultations with <laughs> doctors, <laughs> yeah, yeah. emergency room uh, visits, yeah, a couple uh, of copays we had to hit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If you go to want to go to my page, it's called Yana's Had COVID um, <laughs> Kickstarter for uh, my uncovered medical bills, and then we almost didn't make it here because me and T Bone. Had a little miscommunication on the text. Yeah. And I went to Queens first and then to <laughs> Westchester. I had the car. And then he told me he actually did send me the right one after he changed the address. So I'm here. Thank God. Uh, Look at it. We love it. Gang, yeah. that voice you hear is our incredibly, incredibly special guest that we're so happy to have with us today. He has his own Comedy Central half hour. He has a stand-up special out right now called Blowing the Light. Of course, you know him. From the wildly successful, wildly funny History Hyenas. And he has a brand new podcast out called Long Days. Gang, do us a favor. Give it up for the one, yeah. the only, Giannis Papas. Thank Giannis, you. thanks for coming, pal. Thank you. That that was just such the world we've been living in for the past. What? You know, year. You made me nervous that whole time because I felt <laughs> you looking at me. Yeah, I'm looking at And I stuttered on a couple of words. And then you just gave me nothing on the end. Toby getting he arrested gets, he gets, at the protest. Yeah. I laughed at that. Yeah, yeah. I laughed at that. And Toby picked it up on the, on the old mic there. Yeah. But I'll tell you. <laughs> I got Giannis staring. Yeah. I know you're disapproving of, of, of my Toby You did that bit my last Tootie episode story with Soder. What do you want from me? Oh, uh, shit. Did oh, it's I? part of the intro. Yeah. You you're look shoving like a guy, the same two-bit joke down every time. You look like a guy who might do the same bit twice, Doug. Uh, <laughs> Like the guy Dude. who likes a few beers. Yeah, yeah, definition of a hack, if you know what I mean. He wrote some good bits in 09 and really phones it in. Uh, no, but what I was saying is <laughs> he gave me like a real like good comic intro. Sure. Yes, sir. And then there was silence. Yeah. Because that's the world we've been living in. We're just people at home. You just are, are just eating, yeah, watching, yeah. and we're going like, yeah, this, we're doing yeah. a show. Someone's got a mouthful of cheese. This is right an now, interactive right? show. Yeah. Hope you got your VR glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> this is a world of comedy now. Are you garbage? Brought Give to you by up Oculus. For Giannis Pappas. Now pause for laughter. Pause for laughter. <laughs> T-Bone, put that in post. <laughs> laughter for Yanni P. You can hear the cheese it's munching from here. <laughs> but boy, do we adapt like roaches. Stick and Aren't move, we? baby. Stick and we move. We are fucking the roaches of the arts. Yeah. We're on rooftops. 
Ah, uh, we're it's in brutal. computers. Yeah, we'll fucking show up in your basement. Doesn't show matter. Up with your mom. Yeah. yeah, do the same jokes twice anywhere. Yeah. Who gives <laughs> I'm coming. I don't care. <laughs> fucking corporate Zoom shows, the whole nine yards. Uh, fuck Making that. fun of people's home office. <laughs> ah, Dale, yeah, yeah. pretty shitty bookshelf there. All right. <laughs> That'll be a hundred dollars, please. Yeah. I mean, fucking, you know, you, we're roaches, dude. You know, when you get a text from your boy like, yo, you going to show tonight? Yeah, yeah. The one on the nine train? Yeah, yeah. I'll be there. <laughs> dude, they're doing times that. Times your set. I don't know what times the train get in the 40 seconds. Yeah. I know. There's, I dude, saw that. That's we're pushing the, pushing the show time. The doing it. I got <laughs> sent a veils from Stand Up New York. <laughs> hey, what the, time can you be on the six train? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. I wrote back. I said, lose my email. Email address <laughs> until you become a comedy club again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm too old to get an email like that. I it makes me feel bad. Yeah, I like, respect it though, and I, 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 I I've, can't. Been, I've been saying that. Well, just like what you're saying, we adapt. We're fucking. We're still. We're still doing it. I think the kids that are out there now doing the open mics who didn't fucking crumble and move home that are doing They'll open be mics stronger, in yeah. the streets, fucking in Washington Square Park on the tree, that's going to be a special class. No, they will be better waiters when this is all said. <laughs> no, absolutely. Be some top-notch yeah, baristas coming They're going to be some hardened <laughs> Yeah. Waiters. We're getting you bread before you even ask for it. They'll be dropping yeah, that shit. They will have a great, unsuccessful podcast. <laughs> I mean, you know, you guys you guys got it. You got a good one. We're, yeah, you fucking, got a fucking Keeping the foot on one. the gas. Yes. The, the the buzz is there and like yeah. So most people it's like let you want to do a podcast in a book club and it goes for like I had six failed podcasts this, before I got one. This hit. is our yeah. thir- third third? Yeah. This is our third that finally hit. Shout yeah. out to Schultze, by yeah. the way. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He gave you guys a little shout out, right? Yeah, Woo! we did it. We did that. He did our show. Yeah, he's been fucking great. Yeah. Nice yeah. little bump. Yeah, no, he helped me. He produced my special too. Yeah, mm-hmm. which is great, by the way. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Your comedy he's club, a, fantastic. I love that place. Mm-hmm. Shout out Emilio. 100%. He's a fucking guy who makes it happen no matter Making what. Making huh? it yeah. fucking happen yeah. all summer, doing a million different things, busting his fucking ass. Yeah. You gotta love him. Yeah, he sees a strip club, he's like, let's, let's do, do it. it. <laughs> and I've been to that strip club, and every yeah. time I go, I ain't fucking going back. <laughs> and then like four months later, I'm like, what a cash ain't that bad. Yeah, I, love, I, like, I love it. I've done it three times, and I've yeah. done the same thing. Like, I'm never uh, doing it again. Yeah. And he calls him like, I got nothing else yeah. going on. We love going down to the yeah. Clary. It's fucking yeah. couple of rooms. Get up Saturday, walk around the boards a little bit down yeah. there in AC. Yeah. yeah. little diner it's not breakfast. bad in the summer, you know. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. great. I don't mind it in the summer. It's like, uh, yeah, AC's kind of like, um, it's like America's... It's like a America's path. Like you're walking into a, oh, it's like yeah. the way Pittsburgh used to feel before it got gentrified. And if, exactly. you, if you go in with that yeah. with that mentality, you're gonna have fun. <laughs> well, if you're just right. like, yeah, this is fucking this place is a fucking hellhole yeah. and just embrace it, it's fine. But so if some people go down, they're like, Yeah, we're gonna go be like, you know, fucking shooting dice and stuff. It's like, dude, it ain't that anymore. Nah, nah, we used yeah, to yeah, love yeah. taking taking mushrooms and going down to going down to AC specifically to walk around the casinos, walk around the boards and just get all tripped out. That's I mean, if you look at it, I mean that's fucking that's having a positive attitude. Yeah, that, <laughs> that could go bad <laughs> quick, though, dude. That's like yeah. being in a haunted house on shrooms. Yeah. Some fucking guy, dude. All we of went a sudden, in, you're at the keynote table. Like, yeah. yeah. Dude, we went, I was at, but last time we were down there, I went into a CVS, and I was, like, buying batteries or something, and the guy behind me, actively bleeding from his oh, face yeah. in line. And wasn't, I'm like, wasn't buying Band-Aids No, and either. I'm like, oh, shit, dude. You, like, thinking, and he was buying a magazine or something. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? Like, you need attention. Quit. How about a little fucking Neosporum yeah. and some gauze there, fella? Uh-huh. Atlantic City's like, you're in the casino. You stay in the casino. Stay in the casino. You don't leave. You don't leave, you don't leave to go get one of those uh, famous sandwiches dur- at night. You yeah. do that at 11 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. do that with an Uber. Yeah. <laughs> get a hoagie in the morning and keep it fucking moving. I love the Tropicana, too, because that's where he has, where is it? He does it at the Tropicana. Cat Emilio, right? Uh, it was yeah at the Trop. Yeah. Well, no, then you just moved to the Clarion yeah. Hotel. Yeah, but the yeah, one yeah. that it used to the, be at the Trop was, was the, like the stripper yeah. stage. Yeah, that thing because those was a rooms, fucking hell. That kiss, was kiss, tough. What was the name of the Kiss Kiss, kiss, kiss Bang Bang? bang. Kiss Kiss like Bang Bang. When yeah. I was, it was bomb 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 yeah. every time I was there. And the staff's just like wanting the show to wrap oh, up. As yeah. soon as it's done, they fucking move the stage, mm-hmm. put the strippers on the poles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times. Yeah, it's a tough. We love it. Well, Giannis, thank you so much for being here today. We couldn't. Uh, we're very happy to have you. Uh, we, I know bits and pieces. But You're I a New York kid. New York right? kid. Yeah. City kid. All yeah. the way. Like like Philly kids, we like let you know we're we're like the Jews of what cities we're from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We slip it in in every yeah, sentence. Yeah. Like, well, I'm a Jew. We yeah. go like, I'm from Philly, so you know what? I shit myself all the time. <laughs> Uh, we're from New York, so like you don't even. We're always like you don't know what this city used to look yeah, like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. We're always telling you, and you're going like, look, I don't give a shit. I'm here to be an I'm, actor. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't care what fucking what it was like before gentrification. But I know you got slices and all that. <laughs> shit. You're a real deal, cool yeah. New York City kid. 80s. 
I was, yeah, I, I grew up in the 80s and 90s here, so I it was a different city. Crazy. Yeah. And now it's back. Yeah, dude, it's, yeah. we were talking before we came <laughs> yeah. on. It's getting fucking dicey out It's there. like John Travolta's career, just <laughs> fucking back from no, Pulp Fiction. No chocolate croissants here, yeah. my friend, <laughs> no. I'll tell you that. No. I did you a get a sketch. and like it. Yeah, yeah, I did a sketch here, actually around the block, right here. Yeah. Because this is where it's like back again to what it this was. This is yeah. where, dude, this fucking... Places are boarded up, shops are empty, and the fucking the heroin addicts are the just running over the asylum. Here, the bridge over here connecting the two avenues is ridiculous. The tents just oh yeah, up. yeah yeah yeah. Isn't it crazy how quick it can happen like that? Oh yeah. It just lets you know how tenuous and precarious good times or civilization. It just oh two it's seconds. Like the Joker said, you just give it a little push. Dude, I, I, talk, <laughs> I talked to someone who had like psychosis, and they were like. The scary thing is everybody's walking around. They have no idea how the close they are to completely losing it at any second. Oh, of course. And that rattled me to the core. That was like a decade ago. I think about it every <laughs> fucking day. I'm like, is today today I'm going? <laughs> Just like one one parking ticket, I'm going to fucking lose it. Yeah. No, yeah, sanity is pretty precarious, especially if you live in New York. Oh, and, yeah, yeah New York is like a place that... We all have Stockholm syndrome here, oh, dude. You know it's, it's so like, bad. It just tries. It's the city tries to fuck it to the point we're so fucked up that when we catch a train quick, I'm like, oh, I love this place. Yeah, just yeah. because I got on the train and like right away. Yeah. Look at that real New York moment yeah. right there. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It makes you feel good. Yeah, it's complete Stockholm syndrome. Then when you go and you live somewhere else, you're just like. That's when you realize, you're like, oh my god, I was in an abusive relationship. Oh, it's bad, dude. Like, but you want to come back though. That city was hitting me. You want to come back though. The I love it. It's I like a coke. It. It's like a line of coke. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a line of coke I every day. I love it, dude. You upper wake west up. side, upper east side on a Saturday. Yeah. Fucking. Woo. You know what? But the crimes are getting like that. Like they're getting like insane. We got to get that vaccine. Uh, well, like, dude. I mean, the slashings are up on the fucking dude. People are getting pushed on the fucking love the dude. Slashings the guy here. with the machete was just walking yeah, around yeah. and he was like. Chopping people Dude, up. Google New York slashings. Yeah. There's like four a day. They love it. Yeah, they Dude, love it. A guy got killed at the dollar slice spot. Yeah, right on the, the corner. <laughs> two people. Two people died within two blocks yeah. from here. And I was back the next day. You can't pass up that deal. <laughs> it's, two, <laughs> two, bro- it's, yeah, it's two, good. two brothers ain't too shabby. No, Check no. out two brothers it's all over the city. It's fucking ketchup and uh, American <laughs> cheese. But you know what? Made by two Indian guys. But what can yeah, you do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't do pizza made by Indians. Well, Nothing really. What's, what's your best? Really? You don't I go the... Mexican or Italian, and that's, that's I smart stop. move. What's I your best a, slice? I see a Greek back. I go to Boston. I see a Greek back there. I'm not doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Best slice, just plain slice. Yeah, but where, though? Where are you going to get a slice? Oh, okay. Best slice, slice spot? I'm going to go Pizza Suprema, which is, uh, <laughs> a, you would not never think it. Where is that? It's in, it's, it's across from the garden. It's okay. across from the garden. Oh, which wait, is, what? Yeah. And so you wouldn't think it, but the slice is by the slice, fresh out of the. It's it, on 8th. It's on um, ninth. It's on the 9th. It is. Wait. It's on 9th. Wait, yeah. yeah. You're okay. saying. It's on 9th below. Out of anywhere in the city? It's like where you know the post office is across from. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The it's right, right below that. Right below, below that. that. Like yeah. two, like half a quarter of the block in. Exactly. I've been there. That's a good fucking slice. Good slice. That is a good I was slice. Say fucking something New York like slice. Deep Brooklyn. No, that's the thing. You wouldn't Spumoni think Spumoni Pizza Garden. Or right. Something well, like Spumoni is good for uh, the Spumoni <laughs> Gardens. The, the Sicilians are great, but they used to be better before the owner got murdered in his backyard really? two years ago. Yeah. Oh yeah, I yeah. remember that. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, and then the other place, Lucali, which is great, which is in Carroll Gardens. Is that the dude that rolls it with the wine bottle? That guy? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so yeah. he got stabbed on Court Street like 19 times. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. It's hilarious. Like during the day. Fucking and that's a Guido's, dude. Not enough ice in the Coke, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Charge them for a refill. That's like a pie spot. Yeah, and yeah, that yeah. became like one of the best spots, which is funny because Carroll Gardens, when I was growing up, was like mafia and Italian. And you can even tell there's like a couple of uh, social clubs still there yeah. on like 3rd Avenue. And so he's a kid from Brooklyn who grew up going to DeFaro's, which is like the old school greatest pizza yeah. in the world. Right, and so he modeled his place in the forest, and now the neighborhood's like the most expensive neighborhood in Brooklyn. Yeah, right, it's nice. And out so there. now it, he got stabbed at like eleven a.m. on a Sunday, where like stroller moms yeah, were like pushing yeah, yeah, their babies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From, you know, going down the steps of their $4 million brownstones, <laughs> and there's some fucking Italian guy chasing him. You fucking yeah. motherfucker! <laughs> you fucking owe me money! You fucking piece of shit! Holy and they're going, shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Baker! Come outside! Yeah. Tyler, get out of here! Jesus Christ, the Brooklyn our mom said we're moving to is happening! <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's always crazy. Call, like your parents are always nervous when you move to New York. Just be careful. Oh. Don't look at black people in the face or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking nuts, dude. 
Damn. Give us the full story. Yeah. Start from the beginning. I want to oh, hear about me? Yeah, yeah, where, yeah, I want to hear. Where in Bro- you're a Brooklyn kid. I grew right? up in Park Slope. Oh. So, which has always been nice. Like, if you grew up in Park it's Slope. a little bit of cash. Yeah, if you ask my podcast partner, Chris. Chris, uh-huh. he did. Yeah, he would, just, he would just call me the F word. He would just say yeah, he grew yeah, up yeah, in. Yeah. It was like a. So, we. Because uh, you're a smart kid, right? Yeah. I mean, Greek no, and I'm Italian this. or all Greek? All Greek. All 100% Greek. 100% Greek. So, I can just out of curiosity, why wasn't it. Uh, how big is the Greek community in Park Slope? Not big. So why wasn't it Astoria or you know something like that? That's a good question because my parents. So my dad grew up in Brooklyn. Uh huh. His dad owned a diner, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just what we do. Gotta do. You gotta be one of the. Yeah. Family. Do you remember the diner? Did you used to? No, go I was too young because my dad. My parents had me when uh, they were. My dad was forty eight. My mom was forty three. Which back then Whoa. was like, what do you? You know, Might you guys well, are yeah. risking yeah. death to do that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now everyone's doing that. I'm gonna have a kid when I'm like sixty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard a kid who was thirty nine the other day said, "I'm." Still young. I'm like, dude, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm still young though. Yeah, yeah. Like, All right, bro. Yeah. I just had a kid and I'm in my forties. So that's what we do now. Congratulations, by yeah. the way. Congratulations. That's why the Chinese are gonna win, because we just don't not gonna have the manpower. Yeah, right? no, not at all. When they hit the fucking border, we're just gonna be like, we have no people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a bunch of old dads pushing babies. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm the same way. I mean, I'm 34. You're in your you're 40. I'll be 40. I'll be 45. In you're still planning yeah, on having kids. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's good. It's when it starts. This is when it starts. I believe when life starts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hope it starts at 45. It starts at 45. I love it. All right, so all Greek. Yeah, your grandfather had a diner. Your parents had you late. Brothers and sisters. Two brothers. Now, when were they born? Are they? Are they? They're much older. One's ten years older, and the other one is sixteen and a half years Damn. older. Damn. Yeah. I got that in my family. I got yeah. same same. I got a six. Somebody sixteen years and ten years younger than wow. me. Wow. Yeah. 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 Divorce though, but yeah, so, yeah. yeah. No. Same so Yanni was a happy accident. I was like, uh, you know, a couple of mis. I'm here because thank you for the. I'm pour a little beer out for a couple of my siblings who Split died before makeup. they could make it. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't be here. But yeah, I might have been. I don't know what was going on. I think maybe they were trying to save their. Marriage, because they also had a, a law practice together. They were lawyers. Okay. So they uh. worked together. My mom was a human rights lawyer, but then she also worked with my dad at his... What he kind opened, of law? He did like... Uh, he started with uh, personal injury, then he did med- then he did uh, immigration, then he did medical malpractice. Were they both born here? Or are they Pretty both... Good. My mom was born in Crete. when uh-huh. during, She was there when the Nazis occupied. She was born... She was there. She was like a little girl. She remembered. Uh, the island Damn. of Crete and Greece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my dad was born in Brooklyn. His parents had a diner in. Um, so I think Park Slope was like a little close to the city. They became like lawyers. Park Slope was Park Slope was like a. It was a bad. It was like an all Irish neighborhood. That's why they, it's the only other neighborhood. Bay Ridge, Park Slope, and the Irish Parade here. There's mm-hmm. they do a St. Patty's Day parade in Park Slope still. Oh, do they? It used still? to be all Irish. Like my block when I grew up, there was tons of like. Retired Irish cops and tons yeah. of Irish. It's what my whole family is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's for Philly. Kinda, yeah, we're all know? fucking. Yeah. yeah, everyone's a fucking meathead. Everyone's like a pipe fitter or a fucking cop. That's all. Yeah. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so, and then like there were my parents were older. So when they bought it, they bought it in the fifties. They bought it for like twenty eight thousand dollars. <laughs> they brought it from an Irish family who didn't even have like a gas stove or they were still doing like wood in the basement. Wait, like, is this a brownstone? House. It's a brick townhouse attached. Okay. Yeah, they're all attached. So that's what you grew up in. I grew up in that. Yeah. Wow. And my grandparents lived upstairs. Now that's like a tenant, like you know. Really. So my grand, my Greek grandparents. Funny story. This is this is funny. And I wasn't alive yet, but this is a Greek thing. Okay, <laughs> Greeks have vendettas. Yeah. You wrong us. Most old country people. Yeah, do. just like Italians, Italian, yeah. Italian pizzeria owners too. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You cocksucker. Yeah, but they'll like kill you in the street. Like Greeks will just like hate you secretly and hate Passive your family. Yeah. 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 You, so, you get born into a beef. You get born into a beef. Nuh-uh. That's a way, that's kind of how it is. Oh, Families, lay it it's on like us. Village fucking <laughs> yeah, justice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like really backwards <laughs> third world shit. So um, my grandfather and his brother were the business partners. They started as like bus boys. They saved up together. They got a restaurant. Okay. And so the American my, dream, baby. My my grand uncle lived with my grandfather and grandmother upstairs. All three of them, okay. which is weird. Yeah. That's kind of that's gonna be tension. And like the, maybe my uncle was gay and you couldn't be gay back then. Like he had an Irish girlfriend somewhere or something. But like 
He didn't make kids, which yeah, back yeah, then yeah. just meant you were gay. Yes. If you didn't yeah, have yeah, any yeah, family yeah. and kids, you were definitely like. You were a little suspect. Yeah, little light the loafers. Hold on. I want to comment how trashy that was. He didn't make kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you didn't make that kids. Yeah, that's, that's how you yeah. knew it was gay. You don't like, make no kids. <laughs> like back then, Tim Dillon would just have a wife. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah, yeah. you would never know he's gay except for the fact that he fucked guys. If you caught him fucking a guy, that's, that's the only man. way you would know. If you were in the bedroom, that's the only way you would know. If you were the guy he fucked, it's the only way you used to Other than that, you sweep it under the fucking rug. Yeah. Yeah. So my grandfather uh, died first. So okay. that's awkward. So now my grandmother just lives upstairs with my grandfather's brother. Hmm. And they didn't talk for eight years. They lived in the same house. Jesus. And they didn't speak ever again until um, she died first. And then he died. They never spoke. That's insane. And they lived in the same house. Eight <laughs> years after my grandfather died. How old were they at this and time? I, like eight, 70s? They were like in their 70s, yeah. And I asked my dad, like, what was the fight over? He goes, I don't know. They probably don't even know anymore. Nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. <laughs> nobody fucking knows. Nobody knows. Yeah. He had to cover a dinner shift or something. <laughs> and, 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 <laughs> fucking something happened, and then he stopped fucking talking to each other. Damn. I mean, imagine Damn. living in the house eight. I mean, that's, you got to respect the, the, I love that the kind commitment of to the yeah, hate. I love it. Oh, yeah. They didn't even talk passing each other. Like, you know, there was one bathroom on the second floor. I don't know how they did that. They're just in separate rooms, and they kind of just... I, I I have that in me though. We've talked. I've talked about it. I don't talk to my dad. I saw my dad. This is how Philly trash I am. I don't talk to my five. I've talked to my father in like seven years or something like that. Um, I saw him in a last time I was home. I saw him in a Wawa parking lot, and we walked right by each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most Philly dirtbag thing in the world. Wow, wow. Yeah. yeah, a Wawa parking lot. Yeah. 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 I had my fucking it's hot like dogs and Gatorade. Court. Kept and, it moving. Yeah, and you're an Irish kid, so you never go to therapy. You'll just drink it down, push it down. Oh, Irish kids, Yanni push. knows. Yanni push knows. Push it down. Don't, Buddy, I had a six or last. Night yeah. to take the edge off. Wow. <laughs> don't feel that. No, don't feel that. No. Why would I want to think about that shit? Keep yeah. it going. I'm pushing right now. <laughs> Something. Gang, real quick, want to talk to you about our amazing sponsor, SheathUnderwear.com. Absolutely fantastic product developed by an Iraqi war veteran to keep your dick and your balls <laughs> separate. Yeah, guys. For cooling purposes. There's a two pouch system. It sounds crazy. It's fantastic. Your balls go in one pouch. Your wiener goes in with another pouch. They it's don't like two touch weeks each- vacation. <laughs> they don't touch each other. Your balls don't touch your leg, which I, I didn't know I needed until I got. Ah, brutal. They sent us like 25 pairs of these. I wear them every single day. Yeah, they're my main underwear. I know you hear that a lot on podcasts. Yeah. But also, too, you hear Sheath Underwear a lot on podcasts because this guy fucking supports a lot of comedy podcasts. He does. Yeah, he he, hel- he he's very supportive of our show. He's very supportive of a lot of shows of the shows you guys watch. Support them. Sheathunderwear.com. You use promo code GARBAGE. You save 20%, baby. Mm-hmm. I ain't talking 5%. I ain't talking 10%. Mm-hmm. Not 15%. 20%. Use promo code GARBAGE. Sheathunderwear.com. Support the people who support the show. Now back to the show. Why the fuck does Wawa's like, you want to order a sandwich, mm-hmm. you know, and then the lady's standing right there. Why do I got to, like, be a computer expert the whole, to order the a whole fucking computer Higgy? Thing. Listen, a on Higgy? behalf of yeah. Philadelphia, we apologize about the computer <laughs> situation at Wawa. It was, for some reason, it was better when you order over the counter. 100%. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. They're trying to catch up to sheets. They're trying to they're trying to be something they're not. Every everyone's that's the way everyone's doing it. Yeah, just probably give, inventory because the dirt fucking, bags yeah, give me a probably stealing. Yeah, just wanna, let me get Italian They're hoagie. probably stealing ham. They probably have to do it to fucking keep track of the poundage. Yeah, I get a it. hoagie, I a get coffee. It. Yeah, because then you go like back, back. You know, if you fuck up on the mail, you gotta go back, uh, back, 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 back. You see everybody's stand. dirty fucking fingerprints on it. You yeah. know what I mean? There's like spackle and shit from the fucking lunch crew came in. Yeah. Everybody in Philadelphia who got COVID got it off a wall watch. Yeah. I wouldn't be Yes, probably. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah, we grew up in uh, Brooklyn. Some, I think that was like a class. Like Park Slope was like that w- the f- neighborhood that was like working class. And then people from Brooklyn who I think got like jobs in the city, mm-hmm. they yeah. moved there because the brownstones were nice. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Because at first, the lower part of Park Slope used to be nicer than the upper part was like more working class. And then it flipped. Like people wanted to live closer to the park. That constantly happens yeah, in neighborhoods in New York. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like Soho used to be like empty. That was like where the mob went to like That's kill you crazy. in like a yeah, yeah, yeah. warehouse. Yeah, and then like. Wherever lesbians and gay guys go, that's yeah, it's turns buy quick. a fucking house because they got a lot of cash. They are income, no yeah. kids. Well, they're the Marines of gentrification. Yeah. <laughs> they go in first, start a softball game, <laughs> and then 
mean, like, they fucking get mugged a bunch. They're tough. Those lesbians, <laughs> lesbians are the first ones in. Yeah. On gentrification. Like, like Park Slope down on Fifth Avenue, which was bad when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So it was like Seventh Avenue, Prospect Park West, which was where I lived, was pretty good. It was good. And then uh, Sixth Avenue was the line of demarcation, and then Fifth <laughs> demarcation. Avenue. Demarcation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was like yeah, Fifth Avenue. You got like it got really dicey, but then lesbians started moving in Fifth Avenue, and yeah. then next thing you block know, block by block, mid nineties yeah, yeah. it started, and it started all over New York. That's when it started in the mid nineties, gentrification. But before that, New Thanks York. Thanks a lot, was, Giuliani. Giuliani. It was a lot. A lot of it was Giuliani. Yeah. A yeah. lot of it was the economy, the tech bubble coming yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. good stuff. A lot of it was just suburbs being so horrible mm -hmm. that like kids didn't want to work at Panera Bread and uh, they just were they're like They're lifeless, dude. I go back yeah. now, my parents live in the I go back now and I'm like, oh, what the f you gotta get in the car to fucking go everywhere. Like you I'm like, I wanna get a cup of coffee. I gotta get in the car, drive seven minutes to Wawa Park, go in, ignore my dad, get back in and leave. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I love the burbs. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, well the burbs fantastic. are you just moved. You're out which the we wanna we wanna now. get into. Yeah, I moved to the country. But wait, I got more so in the brown so in, in the townhouse. It, you... We didn't have a goat in the backyard that we fucked or anything like that. <laughs> I know where you're going. I'm a Greek kid. At some point, no. there's a lamb in the back. I'm yeah. eating its brains. Something. Yeah. Something. yeah. <laughs> you know. Fucking a little boy, anything. Yeah, I mean, your boys. Yeah, Did I'm... you make your own olive oil? <laughs> exactly. that... No. So... No, because they do that. I mean, you go to a Greek guy's house. I mean, they will be like a fuck. They will figure out a way to make a vineyard. They'll figure sure. out a oh, way. Like at the, yeah, yeah, they yeah. will do it. They'll have like a one foot by one foot yeah. and they'll have it mm -hmm. hanging. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'll figure it out to make it really you create Greece somehow, but you were you were basically <laughs> not an only child. But it, so if, when you started to be able to remember things, your your, your brothers were out on their own. They were fourteen, fifteen. Yes, they were gone. They so were by gone. the time you got fourteen, fifteen, was there cousins? Was there cousins in no, the neighborhood? No, I was just. They were all older. So I was, you and your crew. It was me and my friends. Yeah, we. I grew up with my friends basically. Were they all Greek kids, Irish kids, no, or all mixed? It was mixed. It was Irish, Jewish, uh, Italian. Um, I grew up. Uh, uh, it's it, like a movie. I fucking it's, love yeah. it. It was it's like sleepers. It was yeah. like now. Yeah. yeah. Black kid, Spanish kid. Park Slope is actually probably one of the most diverse neighborhoods mm -hmm. naturally. Um, Colin Quinn grew up there. I'm yeah, he grew up two, two blocks from me. So that neighborhood was just for some reason it was just so diverse. And it had like Hispanics, blacks, whites, Irish, a lot of Irish. That, that, it was originally like, you know, in the early turn of the century, it was Irish. And then before that, it was rich. Before really? it went working class Irish, it was rich. Like a lot of those homes. That's why those there were probably nicer homes. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, a lot yeah. of Brooklyn was because Brooklyn was like the vacation homes for people who lived in the city. Used like the to burbs. Take, yeah, used to take a boat to go yeah, there. You yeah, know? Yeah. yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Eighteen hundreds. Those those houses were built in the eighteen hundreds. Those were people's like wealthy people's country homes. Yeah. And then like you know they moved out farther, and it's how it goes. Yeah, oh, it must have been awesome back then. Probably was awesome back then. Yeah, clean living. Yeah, fishing could, in the East River. And imagine, like, if you were a killer and wanted to kill people, you could kill people and get away with it. <laughs> Dude, you, could, you could do anything. <laughs> yeah, that was wide open. Like, um, there's no DNA, none of that no. shit. Like, no the cameras. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I was talking to my roommate. I couldn't have killed him, and gotten the bot. Like, you would get caught. Yes. There's just cameras. There's cameras in our lobby. Yes. There's cameras in the hallway. Yes. Cameras on the elevator. Cameras at the gas station. You're fucked. And even if you're on camera, they just fucking a any hair you left there. Oh, you're fucked. They'll find you back then. It's like you had to see the you had to see the guy killing. Yeah. Like you, they ask witnesses and they're like, "What's going on there?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyone see it? Like, no, of course we didn't yeah, see he's it. He's gonna kill me. <laughs> Nobody kills people out in the open. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like it's I like didn't a Bronx see tale. it. Yeah. He's fucking. He's dead in his room. He's, you know. A Bobby would have to walk by with his fucking <laughs> nightstick. <Bobby, yeah. laughs> All right, you two. All right, all right. So that's the picture. Yeah. I like it. Good cool, school. Cool. Good student. I was a horrible student. So I went to public school till about. Uh, Fourth grade, okay. I was a failure in public school. <laughs> then I went to private school. Brooklyn. I went to Quaker school. Brooklyn Friends. Really? Oh, you yeah. went to a friend's, friend's school. school. I went to a friend's Damn, school. They were always That's, weird kids where we grew up. Yeah. That's very suburban of you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Brooklyn Friends. I and cannot imagine you in like a Quaker circle where like everyone's gonna be quiet and Yanni's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <it's> like, yeah. <laughs> Just do a Marisa. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to be quiet until you come over and suck this dick and then I suck that dick and then I say, that's right. I love them Quakers. They fucking quiet. Um, I loved it though. Quaker school is cool. That, My brother went to one. Yeah, silent meeting is cool. Classes. Hour were of worship, or what do they call it? The, the one time a week, you yeah. gather and uh, you sit in silence. Yeah. And if you're a kid and someone farts, it's the funniest, funniest thing yeah, yeah, yeah. that <laughs> yeah. you can't stop laughing. So yeah, and then every morning there's like silence. 
Quaker weddings are really beautiful, though. So it's Funerals like, are cool, too. Yeah, Do you ever they, go to one? They just sit in silence, They right? sit in silence, and you're allowed to stand up at any time. Like, there's no order. Yeah. And just say something, whatever moves, whatever you're moved to say. Yeah. You can just be like, hey, I'm sorry for the family. Or, like, you can share a story or a memory. It's like, it was the coolest thing I went to. At a to. wedding, you're sorry for the family? No. Oh, at a funeral. <laughs> at a funeral. <laughs> <laughs> With this fucking scavats <laughs> over here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, yes, yeah, weddings the same thing. Yeah, Nobody cool. talks unless they move to speak. And then the the bride and groom just stare at each other. Yeah, which is kind of like a little weird, but yeah. But I mean, it's cool because like if you're marrying the wrong person in that moment, you'll find out right you'll there. Like, you'll just stand up. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's it. This is it. I went through the whole thing yeah. while I was looking at her. I couldn't do 30 seconds yeah. of eye contact. Yeah. I'm not walking out of here. Take back the sterno trays. Yeah. It's over. No, they don't get credit, man. And you know they were always against slavery. Like Quakers are cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so then from there, I got left back in ninth grade. Because <laughs> Quit I, bragging. I, <laughs> at the Quaker school? What the fuck? Kid couldn't even be quiet for an hour. <laughs> hey, gonna, hey, Yanni, you're going to have to come back and sit again for an hour. This is, never seen this before in my life. That's how fucking bad a student I was. Like, I left back at a fucking Quaker school. What right? the yeah. fuck? They let everybody they let, Yeah, you don't even get grades. You get pass or yeah, like fail, pass yeah. minus yeah. or get a different piece of wood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we used to do that. Go to like fucking live in the woods. Oh, uh, but obviously you'd have to be the, of the Quaker religion. Your, your no. family is Greek Orthodox. No, yeah, right? you don't, no, it's just Quaker schools nowadays. Anyone could go anybody can go. Yeah. yeah, like my dad, and my brother. Yeah, Penn Charter is okay. a Quaker school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, back then, like if you went to a school like that, it was like eight to twelve grand. It cost your parents. Mm-hmm. You know, now those things are like. It's like 40 50, grand. 40, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's like my college. Brother, yeah, yeah, my brother's got yeah. two kids in private school. It's fucking nuts. It's crazy. It's yeah. nuts. Yeah. So, uh, and then, yeah, I did ninth grade twice. And then. Um, how, well, how's. Uh, see. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. It yeah. was always my fantasy. Yeah. Okay. To get my senior year of high school. Yeah. I wish, even though I loved my friends, I wanted to get left back so I could play football one more time and be a little bit older. And double yeah. the lunches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they, ain't a, they ain't a fucking Texas Tommy. Yeah. I'll tell you Keep that right that now. Keep that meatloaf coming, Mayor. You telling me See if you I pass this course, I leave that yeah. cafeteria? Get the fuck out Ah, of fucking Mary makes yeah. those good sloppy joes. <laughs> Keep the milks coming, yeah. baby. <laughs> no, but I always wanted to. But the, the weird thing is, I never. The guy who got left behind. That was it with the friends, right? It was it was weird because I was young. I'm born at end of August, so I was always a little young for uh, for that the grade. grade. Yeah. I was one. Of, I was like one, of, and I was just so I didn't go to class. My first year, I just would cut class. I wouldn't go. I got D minuses. I was just a. I was the class clown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got suspended all the time. I was making people laugh. I couldn't control myself in class, so. They just my my average was like point sixty seven. It was like a D minus. I was a D minus average in my ninth grade. So they were just like, uh, in order for you to get into a decent college one day, just redo. It's almost like you failed that year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, got a I, mulligan. Yeah. So I just redid it. Damn. Which was weird. So uh, yeah. So I I for a while I lied too. I took one year back. So like when people used to ask me how old I was, I would say I was one year younger. Really? Because in my mind, I'm like the fucking system took one year away from me. I'm taking one. That's back. That's that Greek vengeance yeah, shit right there. I'm taking one back. The system takes one from me. Yeah. I take one from them. And then I just felt like a fucking woman doing that. Being like, <laughs> I'm not 42. I'm 41. 13 like, with 13 with a full beard. Yeah. No, I'm 11. <laughs> like, so who takes one year back? Yeah. Like it matters. Full chest hair. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be 10 in June. <sighs> um, and then you turned it around. No, never turned it around. <laughs> <laughs> so became a comic. Uh, no, but I did go to college. I passed. Went to American University in D.C. See, that's a good school. How'd you get it in is there? A good school. Well, uh, I'll tell you how I got in there. This is uh, American University. If you research it, I got in like the year after the um, the uh, the the president of the school, mm-hmm. whose name was uh, Richard Berenson at the time. Right? He was caught. Making like oh, obscene God. phone calls to students, like really obscene, like the Jerky Boys. No, like <laughs> sexual shit. Yeah, yeah. Right? Oh, like, okay. Re- and he was doing it for a while, so it's the wrong city to do that. Yeah. It's like the fucking government's yeah, yeah, so yeah. they tap the phone, swarming with feds. <laughs> yeah, this is a great. You can Google this story. It's a massive story. So he got. They caught him. He wrote a book that he got raped by his mother when he was a kid or whatever. He but he had tenure, so he stayed. And he's a really popular professor. I took his class. He was a famous scientist. He's an mm-hmm. astronomer. But uh, it really tarnished the university's reputation. So you snuck in. And I got in as yeah. a C minus student. Johnny like, comes sliding yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was yeah. like right after PR that. crisis? Yeah, I'll yeah. come to your school. They let in like a bunch of kids that you were like, 
And the school was just like, and then it slowly climbed back up in reputation. Yeah, there you go. They opened the law school, like they didn't have a law school, and then it grew. But so now when people say you went to AU, I'm like, yeah, but that's at the awesome. time, yeah. that's what happened. The yeah, Quaker you, School JV squad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it like dipped in reputation. I just slipped in. That's fucking awesome, yeah. man. Uh, yeah, because I, I was a C minus student, and that's a good, that's now. That's like, a great, because my cousin went there. It's yeah. a fantastic school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, we got to get into some questions. We're going to get into some questions. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to ask you a series of questions to determine whether you're garbage or not. Some from growing up, some from now, because, you know, we're suburban kids. We're excited that you're out in the burbs. Yeah. Uh, treating yourself, fucking doing it right out there. Yeah. Um, also, the double ninth grade, you're starting off kind of in a hole for yeah. the test. Well, yeah. I want to well, say the Greek this. kind of starts in on a hole, right? <laughs> not, not you're hard working. <laughs> you know what I mean? This fucking guys work. <laughs> shit. Not for me. And I'll tell you why, because I, I live in Astoria. I, I've been out there for a long time. I look at those guys, those Greek guys, like, you know, the second, third generation kids as all cool as shit. Yeah. Like to me, I don't think you're garbage. I think you're super cool. You always got cool jeans on, nice jacket, shit like Very that. Very well you're put together. Dress Thank well. You. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you're like an Italian in that sense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they care. They, yeah. they care they, so sharp. much about. Yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So I see sharpness. Now, I understand, you know, the connotation, you know, immigrant background, all that kind of stuff. We've all been there. Let's, let's not cut the cheese. Um, do you think you're garbage? I know I'm garbage. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know. Okay. I mean, my ass is half clean right now. <laughs> I mean, I'm not well, a kid. But you can wear the shit out of a Yankees hat. I'll, I'll tell wear you the that. shit out of a Yankees hat. And a gray sweatshirt, too. Yeah. Kids looking nice. I mean, my my oldest brother went to Oxford, Georgetown Law. Oh. Tufts. So in comparison, you've always been the I've shittier one of the I've just kind of been the garbage. Yeah. I became, a, you know, I started doing skits. Yeah. You know Same with us. We're all comedians. Yeah. yeah. yeah but still, both parents are I got are kicked lawyers. out of school, you know. You come from good stock, at both least. Both parents are I lawyers. come from nice people. Yeah, like, yeah. hardworking, nice people. Grandparents immigrated here. My mother was born. To, she came here. She went to law school. She was Ruth Bader Ginsburg's generation. She was one. She went to school with the, she was friends with David Dinkins, the former mayor in New York. Shout out to Dinks. Yeah, they, uh, he hit on her. He put his hand on her. After he had kids and a family, he's dead now, so I'll just be honest. I mean, he wanted to fuck my mom. He tried to fuck my mom. Really? really? Yeah. yeah, yeah I you did. heard it here first, yeah. folks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when they were in uh, uh, law school together. Uh, so hard work and came up you know, my dad came up working in his father's diner, and then he went to Korea with one war. Also, you could put a wig on. I could put a wig on. I mean, <laughs> hold on. Yeah, I mean, I that's my it, job. Dude. I love it. My job is to, like, do cameo, and I'd be like, what's up? This is Marisa. <laughs> Happy birthday, Steven, in Westchester. <laughs> that's it. Your so, dad was in Korea. My dad fought in Korea. God damn. Yeah, and then he came back, went to law school. So they kind of... Moved to Park Slope, which was they lived in Flatbush. And they yeah, moved to Park Slope. they were killing. That's the American dream. They came they, up. And they their father comes it. here. Their brother a, went to law school, and yeah. then I came, and I was like getting kicked out of school and smoking weed, and you know. Then you reap the a, benefits I of I it, became, baby. Come yeah. on, hey, that's what it's all about. My grandfather, you know, they, they say, "Hey, we work so hard, so you don't have to." I'm like, "Thank yeah, you, I'm gonna, really, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> really lean really into that." Did you mean it when you said it? Because I took you seriously. Yeah, you wanted a better life. Yeah. I fucking got one. I'm not at the diner 14 exactly. hours a day. Because we're on our way to Rockaway with a couple of nutcrackers <laughs> yeah. in the car. I'm not going to fucking have a job. Yeah. You work so hard for nothing if I do that. Your right? parents exactly. still... <laughs> I love that fucking yeah. logic, actually. Absolutely. Is the townhouse still in the family? The townhouse is still in the family. Nice. Um, yeah, it's worth a lot got more than it was yeah. then. Way more than 28K. Yeah, but it's in a trust, so we can't... Uh, because my mother has Alzheimer's, she's in a... Uh, so it's secure. Some, it's secure. So and that pays for her. Great. Nice. So it's a whole legal loophole where you just you know you don't pay taxes. Yeah, it's good. It's what well, your accountant it. helps you with. That's what accountants for. Help you tax evade. Yeah, that's <laughs> all it is. <laughs> <laughs> all it is. Yeah. Yeah. None of Giannis Poppins' comments are anyway associated with <laughs> but are you garbage. garbage. Yeah. Kevin Ryan Incorporated or H. Foley Enterprises. I love it when I hear like people say you know uh, podcasters comedians seem like they're right wing. It's like yeah. We own our own fucking business. Yeah, we're all small business. If you owned your right? business, you had to pay those fucking taxes, you'd probably lean right too. Yeah. It's easy to be left wing when you're collecting benefits from the government. Yeah. I'm, that's what I'm left wing too. I'm, well, Laura Ingram starts making a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not too shabby to look at yeah. either. You see that fucking New York City UBT tax? You're like, can we move our studio to Texas somehow? Yeah, I know. Oh, I, I'm, I'm so stupid with all that stuff. He was telling me one of the main reasons Tom Brady might have moved to Florida yeah. is fucking no income tax. No income tax. Same with Rogan. Yeah. yeah. Most people on the left are stupid about that. That's why they're on the left. Well, and I, I'm I, on the left. Yeah, so I, it's like, I, I lean but once left. you start making money, you're going like, I kind of understand what they're talking about. Well, dude, my parents are going over their will, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> fucking, you know, Trump 2020 at this fucking point. You see in the tax. start looking at going, numbers, I'm like, fuck, fuck yeah, well, Jesus okay. Christ. All right, we got to get into God, some fucking questions. That's too funny. Here. Yes, yeah. we do. We it's do. a hot one, baby. We got a hot app. Hot app. We love app. it. Yanni um, comes in firing. 
Kip, you want to start it off? Yeah. All right. Now that you're a big one here, now that you're out in the burbs, right? Yeah. What supermarket do you or your wife shop at? Shop right. Really? That's nice. What nice. did when you were in New York? What were you shopping at? Uh, I I never I ate out every night. That's every such a New York thing. Yeah, 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 I mean yeah, yeah. it's ba- diarrhea. I, diarrhea. <laughs> That's why I'm surprised I got COVID bad. It's like because I didn't get sick after that. Because like we we're used to just like just digesting yeah, 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 yeah. rat pisses on everything. Yeah. So yeah. how long how long have you been out in the burbs? It, we I, we live in more of a country setting. I'll be honest with really? you. Really? Yeah, it's I mean, even further than the Burzio. It's the Burzio. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the, yeah, the country. It's like country. It's the country. Yeah, but you guys in the city, you think that's the country. It's, it's true. Just the <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What? Wow, he's it's, grass over here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. <laughs> you, you see a fucking dog. They got horses. <laughs> <laughs> Man, they got cattle out here. Yeah. Oh, my oh, God. What the fuck is that, then? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's your dog. Johnny, get a cab. We're going back to Queens. <laughs> Fuck out of here with this. True. So I guess it's kind of burby, yeah. So, yeah, it's a little Great. burby. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But you don't get it. I live, like, in the woods. Yeah, yeah. it's like, guys, there's fucking trees out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have my own mailbox. <laughs> Suburban. Not connected to my house. Yeah. I've never had any of that shit. All that shit I, is new to me. Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. what's awesome. Someone's like, you got to get a new roof. I'm like, what? Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what 30 year roof. Yeah. You got to get a 30-year roof. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Get the landlord on the yeah. phone, that piece of <laughs> yeah. shit. Who did you drive with? I'm like, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> The city? I thought the city does it. <laughs> Get thinking's on the phone. <laughs> I got a fucking tip the garbage guy. I'm like, yeah. I, he says hello to me. I'm like, who, why do I gotta know this guy? Yeah, yeah. That's dude. That's suburban living, baby. <laughs> it's weird at first. Suburban living. <laughs> People can tell out there if you come from New- like New York or because you. I, yeah, you're out front can... lifting weights in a white beer. <laughs> <laughs> Grilling in the front yard like a dirt ball. <laughs> hey, Marie, <laughs> get a cutlet done. <laughs> no, because you're like, people want to talk to you and you're just skeptical. Oh, like, yeah, you're the fuck are you? They're yeah, like, yeah. I live across the street. Like, you got your hand on your wallet? Sure you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see your fucking passport. Yeah. <laughs> I saw you looking at my house. Yeah. I bought a gun, no, though. You're I super... got a gun. I got a fucking gun. Did you? Yeah. Look at you. Liberal kid grew up in New York. I got a gun now. Yeah. It's different when you well, know, all those wild bears yeah, and all that stuff. People say like, "Oh, guns." It's like, yeah, I believe in gun control and shit, but like, it's easy to say you're against guns when you're in New York. You know, you call the cops, somebody breaks in, the cops are there quick. I mean, yeah. everything's on time. You're out in the country. Yeah, in the fucking country. Yeah, you know, like the cop, roads ain't plowed. Yeah, you're like they got they got a fucking they got to get in a canoe to get to your house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You got you to gotta wake the horses yeah. up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking everyone had a gun in New York. You, uh, an argument in the train would end like a Quentin Tarantino movie. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> <'Cause> everyone, <laughs> everyone's fucking. Dead. It's actually one of the questions I've definitely is have you ever slept with some sort of weapon by your bed? But I guess you answered that voluntarily. Yes. Brooklyn yeah. when I was growing up was bad. New York was bad. So we I grew up with a lot of fear yeah. and anxiety. It was just bad everywhere. So it was like it, you got mug when, growing up, I must have got my hat stolen like a hundred times. Damn. It's like you couldn't keep a hat. <laughs> you would just it's a true thing. What yeah. would they do? It's not an exaggeration. You you would turn a corner quite literally. And it, back then, there was just roaming packs of kids. There was a lot of kids running around. Just fucking, you turn a corner, you see 20 kids. On Halloween, They would kids would roll like 100 deep, and they'd chase. I've been chased, got jackets stolen. It was like, been beat up. It just happened. Damn. I remember me and my friend one day walked down the train station. <laughs> uh, me and my friend, uh, Zach Zarbo, who's an NBA ref now, Italian kid. He's an NBA ref. True Such story. a New York thing. They still say somebody, yeah. they say the full name, and then their ethnicity. Yeah. <laughs> Zach Zarba, Tyke. Yeah. You gotta NBA. give him the whole resume. Oscar Sadowski, yeah. Polak, good kid. Yeah, I mean, he's a fucking Polak, but I mean, kid was okay. He's all right, kid. Yeah. We're being a Polak. Yeah. He's a good kid. You gotta give him the resume. Yeah. <laughs> so we walked down Did the street. Had a jump shot like crazy that yeah. you wouldn't believe. Yeah. Actually, he's a good kid, good player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We walked down the stairs. I remember, it was just like, we walked down the stairs of the train, and this is how it would happen back then. And you just, when you went down the train, you just, the, it, the kids were there, and you just... It, Your it, heart sinks. There was no chance it wasn't going to happen. Because you can't turn it. You turn around, it's can't 100%. Turn around. You're done either way. Yeah. I'm scared and, of the Showtime dancers. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? And here's the thing. The funny thing about New York that's hard to describe to people is, is like, there's no chance that it wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Like it was yeah. going to just happen. how it was going down was the is yes. The question. You, yeah. It was they were going to do it. You were going to be the victim, and it was done. Damn. There was no like wow. There was no thinking like when it happened. You're like I can't believe that happened. Yeah. When it didn't you happen, believe that happened. Yeah, when it didn't happen, you were like holy shit, yeah. that didn't happen. Yeah, because that never. You Love least, this city, best city in the world. You would at least get smacked, or or they would say something like you know you just hear someone Damn. call you. It just happened. You can yeah. bleep it, right? <laughs> T-Bone. I'm trying to keep YouTube out, right? <laughs> you just called. You'd get called something, but most of the time you'd get kicked or you would just get robbed. So I remember that time we walked down, and I remember we both kind of like, it's just a, you just, and then we went and sat down and just waited for it. Do you remember where you were going? 
I I was I was wearing a Walkman, um, and we were going was it to the yellow one. I was suspended from school, and we were going to that, my high school to uh, pick up my girlfriend and her friend, and we were gonna go hang out because he was he was hooking up with the friend. Nice. Mm. Yeah. So then I just went to meet my girlfriend in the winter with no jacket. <laughs> yeah. It's just like <laughs> one time I walked home with no shoes. That what happened about, too. What, oh, really? Yeah. On Christmas, and I had my Christmas money that I saved in my bus pass thing. You know your bus pass thing. Yeah. So like, yeah, they just took. I, they came from behind me. It was quiet. Six kids took my Timberlands off. The whole thing. Did you get the Timberlands for Christmas? No, I I, I don't remember where I got the Timberlands, but Christmas I definitely Day. I definitely did walked you take home. them off or did they take them off? They took them off. Ooh. They asked me what size I was too, and I told them the truth. Wow. <laughs> I was oh, like, yeah. I'm a nine. I always and he, go low. I'm a kid six. <laughs> yeah. Keep it fucking should, moving. Should be like I should be like woman's yeah. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just fucking cross the. These are orthopedic. They're prescription. They won't work for you. I got a small cock too. Yeah. Leave me yeah. alone. I got athlete's foot. I know. I just told the truth. I was like, I'm about a nine. Yeah. And the the most was, the most standard size <laughs> yeah. for for young adults. Yeah. Kid was like, I'm Great. nine nine and a half. So am I. I, just, I walked home in the icy snow and socks. It's cold. Yeah. Oh, this is Christmas Day. That was no before Christmas. Okay. So it was like sometime in December before Christmas. Man. Yeah, yeah. Jesus so that was Christ. my. I had like eighty bucks in Christmas money, but it was my fault for carrying it. Like having it on, because back then they actually in New York they had something called mugger money. So you would walk yeah, around. Yeah, Don Quinn talks sure. about it. And especially, you would yeah. have money. To, it's true too. You would have money in case you got robbed, so they wouldn't hurt you. You have just a have twenty. Money. Just yeah. go here. You go. Yeah, that's how wild it was. My dad's car got broken into during the day while we were waiting to get into the car. <laughs> that's a true story. He banged his hand on the hood and broke his hand. He was so mad because it got broken into like nine times. People would have signs in the window that said no radio in car and you used to pull it out and take it with you. I mean, how hilarious. Is yeah, that? I remember that. Yeah. I remember a lot that. Of radios. You can pull out the faceplate on. Something. Yeah, I yeah. mean, the car was fucking we were we were like getting our jackets on with the door open in the middle of the day. They were so good at robbing radios and shit. Some guy jimmied it while we were getting ready and robbed the car in like minutes. Jeez. And we came out and they were gone. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad was just like, "Father," and he just fucking broke his hand. Oh, that must have been a quiet ride, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Dad, throw in a couple. Of- oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Keep your fucking mouth shut. But I want to ask my parents, like, you know, my father just passed away. But I'd be like, why didn't we move? You guys were lawyers. Yeah. How come we didn't go to Westchester? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stockholm yeah. Or at least Long Island, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm kidding. It it's just great. what you're saying, the Stockholm, Stockholm City. Stockholm City. City, yeah. city, city, city. Yeah, they grew up in the city. They like the action. I don't know. Yeah, I I'm, I'm, mean, I'm from the Burbs, but I get it. Like, I could never. I mean, I guess, you know, doing well, house hunting the Burbs, yeah, but. Country. O- other than that. He's a guy's in the country, okay? Don't embarrass him with the suburbs. Well, no, he country. nailed it before. Wasn't he? Even yeah. if you leave for, for a little while. Like, I was away for two weeks, and I couldn't wait to get back. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Strange. It's nice out there. You sleep a little better. It's a little quieter. You know, sometimes it's a little too quiet. When I go home, like to my family, hear the I'm owls. Like, yeah, I guess it's too quiet. Yeah, I need you're, something. You're getting used to New York. Yeah, and you can't live in Philly's not a city you can live in, right? Cities, Philly's like block to block. Philly, yeah. Philly is very block to block. Yeah, you're it's, like on the block with the fucking. This is where Benjamin Franklin. Then you turn the block and you're in an episode of The Wire. So you got shot. Fuck. Sketchy. Quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um. Yes. Yeah, Philly's always been a city. I say you have to keep your fucking head. You have to check your six. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you can't just be. Anybody can get got at any time in yeah. Philly. Yeah. It could be for not yeah. saying thank you for someone holding the door. Anything. Yeah. You can get got. Yeah. Really. Say thank you when you walk into a Wawa. Dude, you know how many times I've seen fights in Wawa's parking lot? Yeah. Because you don't say they, thank you. Yeah. They just, they just go, "You're welcome," and you're like, "Oh, here we go." <laughs> And if you don't bitch up and go, oh shit, my bad, I was fucking, yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Then it's then it's fucking, it's on. I remember I fucking walked into a Wawa's, uh, and there was just some guy bleeding on the steps. Oh yeah, it's just like no, it was three in the morning. It's like, rough. yeah, that's what happens at a Wawa's at three in the morning. It's a good sandwich. Yeah, I guess yeah, somebody yeah. didn't say thank you. At the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first first venture out to the burbs of the country. Yeah, you got the house. Yeah. Um, Driveways paved. I had to get repave it after I bought it. Look yeah. at you. Good. Yeah, I did all cash though seven grand. Not nice. bad. It's That's a not long a driveway. Bad. Yeah, it's a long driveway. You got a guy now. Garage. <laughs> well, he drops the price. Seven grand. <laughs> seven grand cash. cash. Uh, if you tell the guy cash, it always oh, comes. cash oh, is king. Yeah. Dude, oh. I learned that at like six. Yeah, everyone is trying to not pay taxes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 
Yeah. That's why socialism will never work. The People Foley's are big Everyone on wants that. the benefits of socialism, but nobody wants to fucking pay for somebody else. Find a contractor that'll take cash at a little yeah. bit of a less of a you rate. You get a little less, yeah. yeah. Problem is, you gotta have cash, which means you're probably doing something illegal. Yeah. Because <laughs> nobody has cash anymore. No, no, no. no I, I've been hiding that cash for a long time, just like cash from gigs that I just hide. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't report. That's awesome. I, I just we... hope the clubs don't report it. Oh yeah. yeah. That's I do. It's always it's always getting the W two or the you know whatever the W nines back. And you're like, oh, they only reported eighteen bucks this year. Cool. Yeah, I mean, they're such scumbags. Let me just. I mean, a lot of club owners are just the filthiest pieces of shit you ever <laughs> seen in your fucking life. <laughs> Send you a fucking W two for like five hundred dollars. You like you couldn't have just you like just yeah yeah. You Hit that fucks. somewhere. We're fucking we're 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 crumbing for crumbs, and they're like fucking. All right, the government's got to know about this five hundred. This one nighter I did at your fucking bar. Yeah, <laughs> you know, podcast like a rapper. Huh? <laughs> you podcast like a rapper. You're like, you're like, I'm fucking, I'm not paying my taxes. I got two bodies on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yanni gets on a track and lets yeah. it all got hang out. Got the driveway yeah. paved. <laughs> seven Yanni. grand. <laughs> got the driveway paved. Seven gram cash. Seven gram cash. <laughs> Pay me in fucking cash. Yeah, I like cash. I like cash. I got a gun. I'll protect it. <laughs> <laughs> when you got a gun, you got to go to the range, which is how you got to learn how to shoot. Learn how to shoot it. Yeah, that That's first good time. You're doing that. I yeah. was worried. That's good. Yeah, you got to learn how to you shoot. You learn how to do it. Thing. That's yeah. good. How's yeah. your shot? Not great, but you know, <laughs> I'll scare the shit out of a motherfucker. <laughs> I know how to do that. And I know how to point it. I gotta close my eyes I and fucking hope for the best. I my own dog, but I'll get him. I'll fucking get the guy. I got, you know, it's ten friendly, in the clip. Yeah, a little friendly fire yeah. on mittens. <laughs> I mean, collateral damage. It happens. A little fratricide. Uh, garage. Garage. Yeah. Okay. Now, big thing it's out in the big. burbs. Now, yeah. you, if you don't have this, yeah. Okay, you want to enrich your family's life. Yeah. Out there, this is something that you should do. Um, you have a garage. Yeah. Do you have a refrigerator in that garage? <laughs> Not yet. No refrigerator. Oh, yeah. You gotta. You I gotta get on getting one. I plan on putting it somewhere. Yeah. yeah. In a basement Garage, or something. Basement, yeah, 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 yeah. It's got to be filled with beers. Yes. And fucking sodas, beers, meat, Capri sodas, sodas for the kids. Yes. You put the fucking ice cream, put the ice pops and shit in there for the summer so they don't got to come into the house. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. That's it. Okay. So you got to do it. Get yourself right. a garage fridge. I see that that's a big thing in houses. Because oh, I, yeah. 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 That's, yeah. That's you, like, you, dude, you in the suburbs, yeah. you're the fucking, you got two fridges. Yeah. Good night. Yeah. yeah. The cellars in Brooklyn, you can't have another fridge. Can't, it won't fit down the stairs. Won't make the turn. You wake up, there's a fucking Huge water bug in there. <laughs> <laughs> See those New York water bugs? Oh, yeah. ah, it's Buddy. like an animal. Yeah. Yikes. Um, all right, I got one for you. What's the name? This is a uh, a three parter, I guess. The name of the place you get your hair cut, how much it costs, and what do you tip? I get my hair cut now from my mother in law. Oh. Yeah, my mother in law cuts my hair in, what, the, in the house? In the kitchen. Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> you can take the kid out of Park Slope, but you can't take the kid out of the kitchen. kitchen. Holy <laughs> shit, you got money, yeah. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah, she, Haircut she, takes four hours because you got to start the gravy. Yeah, you got to get the meatballs going. You got to get the meatballs going. You got to get the game going, get your bets in. Then she shows the fuck up. <laughs> She's yapping for fucking 25 minutes. You got to give her a fucking Bailey's or a uh, yeah. Before I did, that, it was. Tipper, do you break her off a little green? That's little a case? good point. I haven't really tipped. She does it for free. Before that, before Wait, the... is she a hairstylist? Hold she on. She used to be a hairstylist okay. professionally. Yeah, she cuts right. a decent hair. Be weird. She was yeah. like a fucking secretary yeah, I mean, or something. You know, she cut this. Yeah, you got. Yeah, yeah, you got. Nice. You got a I decent mean, I was cut. I a hat time. too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then before that, uh, my boy Stefano in Bay Ridge. Shout out Panache. Panache. And he still cr- cuts Chris's hair. Panache. Uh, nice. okay. Panache. What a name yeah, for Stefano. a fucking barber. Because I imagine that was always a pretty big thing for a city kid. Go out, get the yes. haircut. Yes. Fucking... yes. Did, you ever have, did you ever have lines in your head when you when were a kid? When I was a kid, I did look like Sean King as a teenager. Yes. <laughs> yes. I did. Okay. The haircut low, the fade, the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wanted to be Puerto Rican. I had a dirty mustache here. A lot of people in the 90s wanted to be Puerto Rican. You want to be Puerto Rican? Hip- a couple of my Irish cousins, girls, yes. wanted to be Puerto Rican. It was it was like hip hop culture. That was when it hit. Yeah. yeah. So it the was big like... fila sweatshirt. Yeah, and man. They, they, they would draw on their eyebrows and it, shit. Yeah, people oh. used to put cuts in their eyebrows and never did that. But Fuck, like, that shit was awesome. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you look hit, cool as shit. When I when I was a little kid, it was like rap started. Yeah. So like I was, yeah, I remember, I remember when rap started. I was like five years old, you know. We were, mm-hmm. we're in our forties. Hundred so percent, like, man. Yeah, I, I used to put fat laces in and everything. Oh, uh, yeah. We man. we called them New Yorkers. That's what we called That's New Yorkers. Big fat laces were called New Yorkers. Oh wow, fluorescent yeah. colors and all yeah. that shit. Yeah, yeah. and we're it was just part it. of like you. I played basketball and baseball, so it was like. Puerto Rican kids, black kids. That's just yeah, yeah. what that hip hop was, was the energy. The yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 it was yeah, like yeah. the new thing. It's like podcasts. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> when you had the, uh, it was like you... a true crime podcast. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think Biggie did it. Yeah. <laughs> when when you had the regular barber in New York, did you ever have a photo with your barber? 
You ever uh, take a pic yeah. with him? Yeah. yeah, you always take a photo with him. <laughs> That's yeah. trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take a photo with the barber, yeah. Yeah. Um, of course. All right, I got <laughs> another funny. one. That's funny. Say you're going, uh, you're out there in the country going to a friend's house. You know, let's say you're going to Verzi's house for dinner. Yeah. You and you and the missus. Yeah. You're have going you done over. this? Have you been? Have Verzi's my best friend. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I mean, we hang out all the time. Yeah. So that's good awesome. Yeah. You got you got a built-in best friend out there. Yes. You got yeah. your suburban best pal. Yeah, and the uh, uh, wives, families, we hang out all the time. Cookouts, yeah, yeah. the kids, barbecue, go the see whole fireworks, thing. everything. Oh, man, that's yeah. fucking yeah. awesome. He's a good shit. He, I've said this before. He's the only guy I've been on the road with that he takes you. We go to like classy wine bars after yeah, the shows. Yeah. We get like meat and cheese. He does it nice. Yeah. Italian He's like, try to yeah. meet with I this I bet your Verzi yeah. puts out a nice fucking barbecue. His barbecue nice is cookout. legendary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fourth He's... of July barbecue, legendary. <laughs> Top Still notch. waiting on the invite, Paul. Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> why. <wild. laughs> I mean, he, yeah, why am I turning a rap? <laughs> 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 like, fuck these people. I, you know, <laughs> what am I doing? We got you invested. I'm having we such a good time. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to you. They're hanging out at the table, yeah. baby. Forgot we're doing you a show a, here, yeah. <laughs> you order an espresso over your shoulder? <laughs> Tell me, let me get a... Uh, yeah. Charlie, sorry. just bring us the check, okay? <laughs> no, he is the best host. Him and his wife, Stacy, yeah. the best. It's always classy, the spread. Man. He's Italian, too. So yeah, they take pride. They take pride uh, in all, yeah. all that little shit. So this, that, that being said, you're going over versions for dinner. Yeah. You know it's going to be nice. Well, you know, you're bringing a bottle of wine. How much are you going to drop on that bottle of wine? Um, a lot of good wines are like fifteen to twenty bucks. You stay in that 100%. wheelhouse. So you do you know what you're doing, or you go in blind? I'm going Cote de Rhone. Uh, <laughs> yes. Cote de Rhone. Yeah, Any yeah. Cote de Rhone will do. Yeah. Uh, and uh, or, or not if we want if we're going crazy. Let's hear it. Which if we're going to Verza, I'm getting a bottle of Jordan. That's gonna be. That's a Jordan cab. It's a hundred. Yeah. A hundred dollar bottle of wine. Yeah. So we've done that, too. We don't. And when we used to drink scotch, we would do Lagavulin 16. We don't fuck around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's worth. You know, you like nice things. I like nice things. Yeah. You like nice, nice cigars. Things. You know, a couple of sticks. We do a couple of sticks. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. do quality. Yeah. I'm at the age where I like quality. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got to make a hundred bucks on a buy. That might be the that might be the biggest. The but best, when you taste the it, biggest it's, answer. it's worth it. Sure. Yeah. A, yeah Jordan cab. It's just Jordan worth cabs. It. Top shelf. Good stuff. It goes down like my one. Wine can't have a bite. I want the wine to go down smooth? like yeah, like I like a wine. little bit. I don't no bite, no bite. I also no don't bit. know anything about wine at you all. You want I'll it to go whatever. down smooth, like I want my wine to sound like you're tiptoeing down the stairs with socks on, <laughs> you know, like nice and smooth and quiet. As yeah. trashy as I am, I know a lot about that shit, but it's because I was in domestic purposes because well, I was you a be- server at, at a at a uh, high end restaurant for a while. Yeah, and also you guys are comics, so there's a little bit. We're all a little gay. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Yeah. A little else, bit. Yeah. Like, yeah. You guys probably had family, your friends were like iron workers or whatever, and then you're like, come see my show. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, hey I guess I, I come from the kind of family that will make fun of me when I go to Starbucks. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just fucking guy went yeah. to Starbucks. You guys are like, we're a set? Duncan family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Starbucks is definitely one step up from Dunkin'. Dude, yeah. I've gone to family parties, yeah. and like they've been like, oh, Mr. Starbucks is here. <laughs> Fucking New York liberal. Yeah. Look at him. Hey, look who it is. <laughs> Macchiato over here. <laughs> Fucking guy. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, it's yeah. a bunch of fucking mooks. Yeah. yeah. I remember the first time I asked my, I think it was my my parents to come. And they're very supportive. They're absolutely fantastic. And we were a, pr- a little artsy. But when I remember I invited them to my first, like, uh, guitar music open mic. <laughs> My dad thought he was like coming to see me in like a tutu with yeah. fucking yeah. and slippers. Pulled like. you aside after the end, yeah. like, so are you in the guys? Yeah. I mean, tell me now. It is okay. It. Yeah, yeah, it's all right now. if you are. Yeah. Uh, what is the most you've ever spent on a pair of jeans? Uh, not much. I do Levi's, so I'd really? say, yeah, everything's Levi's or Banana Republic discount at uh, 86th Street in Bay Ridge. Huh. Okay. So I'd say 70 bucks, maybe 80 really? bucks. I would have yeah. paid. I would have. I was expecting $500. Now, the trick about jeans is you don't got to go expensive with jeans. You can even go Uniqlo. They make decent jeans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I got H&M all zone. about the kicks. <laughs> nobody cares. Nobody even can, yeah. Even though he kicks. <laughs> nobody cares. Nobody no, I nobody wear, notices jeans. They're blue jeans or black jeans. Yeah. Keep it moving. You yeah, can yeah, wear yeah. the same jeans. That when I go on the road, like you just do, <laughs> doing weekends and stuff, I bring one pair of jeans, seven pairs of sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Different outfit. I don't know what kind of day I'm going to have. <laughs> I wear the same clothes. New Are shoes. you a sneakerhead? Been since I was a little kid. I'm original. I'm an original sneakerhead. What's, I'm the, not, what's the longest you've had a pair of shoes before putting them on? Wow, a long time, yeah. Like years? I mean, I have a few. I have a thousand dollar pair of Tom Fords. Jesus, that this is how much of a sneaker I was. I had a show called uh, Two Point Lead on AOL. Mm-hmm. AOL has a lot of. They, they used to be. They made a lot. They were owned by uh, 
uh, they, they Time Warner. Time Warner, yeah, yeah they yeah. had a lot of money. So it was like, we had a big budget and shit. So we were doing like the new fronts. This is before Verizon bought them. So uh, we got uh, Gronk to be in our, th- uh, like they nice. had money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were outfitting me. And I was like, all I cared about the sneakers. And they were like, you got a plenty of sneakers. I was like, no, I don't really got anything. But you, I, you, under the, you were able to keep these. I was able to keep these. Uh, this so is this trash is trash move. Did I you love put it. that in your this contract? This is chess, no, not checkers, you ask baby. for that? No, well, this is how I'll I, do it, but I'm keeping the sneaks. This is how I finagled it. I'm like, I just, you know, I feel like when I'm left, I'm like, when I have new sneakers on, I just I feel bring good, it. I feel yeah. confident. I just bring it. You know, it's just a thing. And they're going, what are you talking about? You got That's plenty so of sneakers. That's so fucking I'm like, garbage, I don't want to wear my own. And so I said, how about these? And they were like, are you fucking crazy? They're $1,000 Tom Fords. High top, black leather. And then they, so they said, okay. Finally, I got them. I negotiated with them. They paid 500 So I got them half price. And they were, they're dope. Oh, man. That they're is some dirt bag dope. shit. Dope. What yeah. was the first? That's fucking, dude. That's yeah. so trashy. I love it. And well, I'll I tell got you. clean sneakers on. You're friends with Irene, better. right? Yes. Irene Ron- so when I lived in Miami, she w- I, I, I worked in Miami for a year. I, yeah, right. Yeah. I should have known. That's where I met her. She worked at, um, because uh, I got the, I knew her at comedy. What's like the sax or some shit, right? So she Barney's. Was, I Barney's. Think, yeah, she, she worked at Barney's. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. was just. She used to get us gear too. Yeah, she's yeah, real. She she's real sharp with all that stuff. Yeah. she knows good clothes, good fashion. Twenty percent off. I was yeah. fucking racking up yeah. uh, designer kicks. <laughs> yeah. When I sell those shits on Poshmark, they're gonna be worth a lot. Yeah. <laughs> what was your first like? Got you into it as a kid? Would uh, you buy a pair of Jordans? The first, the first ones that I can remember, I was big on were the Jordan ones. Because we were kids. Yes. When that when, when that happened. When Jordan started and Man. the Jordan ones hit, it was the Jordan ones were the first ones I was crazy about. But even before that, it was like kangaroos. Like me and my friends got into kangaroos. Really? With the yeah. zipper? With this, you put the fucking wild diamond cats. Were you a wild cats, cats kid? No me. wild cats, but oh, definitely kangaroos. Yeah, Air Force. Uh, the um, the old Georgetown, the weapons. Mm-hmm. It actually started with the weapons, the magic and bird weapons. Like your yes. friend would get the. The bird, you'd get the magic. Uh, yeah. That's where it started was the weapons, and then the Georgetown Terminators, high top. Those were then. Those became hot. The whole the Hoya Terminators. I who still was, have a pair of those. Who was the, was the? Who am I thinking? Who was the? If you're a sneakerhead, you're fucking trash, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 It's not Put classy. on a pair of shoes, you yeah. fucking adult. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, who, when I was a kid in the '90s, like a little kid, the fucking LA lights drop. That was a fucking game changer. Uh, when the LA lights drop, you wore the LA light drops. You're trash. Oh yeah, for <laughs> sure. Trash. And I mean, they were you're fucking trash. They didn't fit me, <laughs> and I had what they were like three sizes too small. But I'm like, nah, they're good. They're good. <laughs> that's the only size they have. I was trying to think of Patrick Ewing from Georgetown. That's what I was trying to. Think yeah, of. the Ewing, Patrick Ewing, the old ones. Pe- yeah. Those were ugly. Though. I mean, they came back big. Yeah. I remember my cousins who who were like. Seven years older than me, they played Division three college basketball, and like they were big in the high school basketball. Yeah, and them having like the Converse and stuff like that. Yeah, fucking yeah. That's... Yeah, it started really that. It started in the eighties with like those Converse and like the McHales and people. That's when people started getting into it. And then the Jordans. Just, that was a game changer. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Jordan ones put it, and then the twos, threes, and then the threes were huge. And it was just like yeah. So you have a pretty sick sneaker collection. I do, but the thing is, I'm not vast like a lot of these. I'm I'm sensible. I'm not a I'm frugal. Okay. So I, I just, I, I'm a, Greeks are like that. We don't like to spend crazy. Uh-huh. So it's like, uh, but I have spent a lot on sneakers. $500 is a lot on yeah, sneakers. Yeah, yeah. Damn. So I don't have a lot, but I got good ones. I got a nice, I got, the ones I like, I like, and I keep buying them every year. I don't, I don't venture out yeah, too yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. You got like, a wheelhouse that you stay in. I'm wearing the 95s right now. I got like 17 pairs of these it's in different crazy. colors. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm just, just yeah. Dude, I, I know that Verzi is also a sneakerhead. Yeah. I imagine you guys with like a scotch and a cigar and a piece of steak like, and you're in the closet like, look, I got the Tom Ford's yeah. never bought them off. Yeah. Verzi's like, oh, funny too. He'll like wipe them. He, he, he'll he walk a certain way so they don't crease. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's going too far, man. He'll walk like this. Yeah, like, he waddles a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I don't want to crease him. I'm like, what are you talking about? I would have Imagine his house is impeccably clean. His house is pretty impeccably. clean. Impeccably. His wife, uh, she runs shit. She's the yeah, best. Yeah, she run, Yeah, she's great. She's fucking the best. Ah, oh, good stuff. All right, so. you guys are searching for trash. You're not finding I that much. I, there's not much. I'm a pretty classy He's a pretty kid. Classy, <laughs> fucking classy New York kid on our hands right here. I don't know what the fuck to do. He's got fucking thousand dollars shoes, but he haggled them down to five hundred. I don't know what the fuck. Trashy right. move. Trashy, trashy move. Trashy fucking yeah, move. You're yeah. haggling over a pair of shoes. <laughs> Um, okay, do you currently own any 
own any boot cut jeans. Wow, you, your Philly really fucking. Yeah. It's like Any. your zipper came Any. out. Any. Yeah. Any. Any. <laughs> Any. 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 So I got another question. Screen right. Yo, just down the road. <laughs> yeah, go to Steve Stakes right down there. Yeah, pussy. Any fan of him. I want to fucking get who? Dude, my cousins dropped Diet Coke <laughs> so bad. Yeah. Just get me a fountain Coke from McDonald's. <laughs> Saudis. Yeah. Uh, do you own any? Do you own any bootcut jeans? No. Okay. No. No. Have you ever ordered a red stripe beer? Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Have you ever recommended a book to somebody that you didn't read, <laughs> <laughs> but said you read? Because I make my living doing that shit. Um. No, I don't think I've done that. Okay. I got to be honest. When you lived in the city, would you, was there ever a doorman situation? Did you ever have a doorman when you guys lived in the city? No. Maybe towards the end, you and your girl? No, we never lived in it. was always lived in Brooklyn. I've always lived in Brooklyn. Uh, what I was getting at is I'm curious, who, if anybody, do you break off for Christmas? What do you, you, like, you, do you Do you like, like people off on the holidays? Yeah. Who do you break off? A little no, bit of cash? No nobody, one? Yeah. Nobody, yeah. And here's even worse. The Greeks if, keep it tight. If I don't order anything but water's in the green room, I don't tip. Oh. Chris, Chris got mad at me That's once. He's That's a tough look, John. Because Chris like likes to, you know, he grew up with all the union guys, so he like throws everybody. Okay, oh, everybody, everybody gets a dub. Everybody gets a dub. Like, you're a cheap fuck. He got mad at me. He's like, I was like, I didn't order anything. Isn't that how that works? Oh my! You God. gotta leave a dog. Yeah, if you're or a high school kid at a fucking Ponderosa, yeah. I mean, all I drink was like that. I dr- only thing I drink was water. <laughs> you water. You gotta break. I had them a couple off of water. Were they Dasani or Fu- but Fuji's or? Here's the thing. I'm like whoever else is there, opener, host, whatever. They order, they tip, and you know, I didn't. So they ate. Wait, I didn't the, eat. The headliner you're doing. You're I know not breaking off a twenty. That's what I heard. That's why I think I'm wrong. Yeah, I'm probably it's wrong. wrong. It's wrong. But I mean, we're not making that much fucking money. They're making a more money than me for the week. For the whole fucking weekend, they've made more money than me. It's this whole true. tipping thing that is doesn't out of matter. That doesn't matter. <laughs> You're so fucking out of control. Hey, that's commie talk. I don't <laughs> like that. <laughs> Why don't I? We need to pass a fucking bucket around with the fucking shit they pay us, and then they send us a WT, you scumbags. <laughs> <laughs> and I called it a WT. <laughs> yeah, I knew what you meant. <laughs> yeah, you know what I meant. Yanni's heated. It's okay. They put five waters on there. I mean, you ever think about what these waitresses make in a club, and then they got the fucking balls to talk like and be in a bad mood. Oh, wow. Like you're the one. We bothering should sit them. down with them and be like, "Do it you know what matter. we make for per set?" It doesn't matter. You got to You got to break off. It the should toilet. be. Come on. It should be standing standard operating procedure to have bottles of water in the green room. Yeah. Sure. So what what am I tipping them for? For they're, for they're making more money? Than they're, they're, they're making a lot of money. That's uh, the thing. They make a lot of money. I you're not wrong, Giannis. You are not wrong. I'm saying you're wrong. And, it, and it's not. It, and they don't have to pay taxes on it. It's cash. Cash. It's cash. Cash. If you were a waitress at a comedy club. And you're doing four shows a night or three, four. They're you're doing s- well, but they're you working really hard. You worked in really the service hard. industry. Yeah, you're like, Dan right. Soder used to give you a hard time about this. You cheap fuck yet? yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, how much did you make? You'd be like, they, would go, they always go like, yeah, I have five, seven hundred dollars yeah, cash. cash. I'm like, they walk with it. Like, I'm not like making an ATM that. machine. Yeah, I'll tip you, but I mean, let's not. Whenever you go to dinner with Soda, Soda would go like, here's a hundred. And yeah, I, he's like, you don't man. know what they're going through. I'm like, what? They fucking took our order, and then Mexicans came and did everything else. <laughs> That's not true at all. But shout out to the guys in the kitchen. <laughs> fucking love yous. I'm no. surprised you never worked. Never did? Never did. Never did. I worked. Uh, I did, Too I, busy getting high with his good time buddies. Yeah. <laughs> I did social work for five years. That was uh, why I okay. started doing comedy, and I used what to about work at nightclub. Up? I used to work at my dad's office every every year, oh. every summer, all summer. I'd work at my dad's office. It's Greeks, that's what they do. Okay. You work, come work for me. Yeah, yeah. child labor. You keep yeah. it in a family. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, could have yeah. been in a diner just as easily though. Yeah, he could have been. His dad actually got. You ma- could have been. You could. I could have been. Yeah. But his dad actually got mad at him for wanting to go to college. Wow. He didn't understand that. Yeah. Like, what, what are you gonna do? Yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah. See, yeah. I saw that as the American dream, like the you know. An immigrant comes here, they bust their ass, and then they want their kids to be college educated. Not Greeks. They're like, well, you're going to live home, take the business. What's the problem? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's going who's gonna to finish? Who's going to make the omelets? I study yeah. you finish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's the problem? What are you doing here? He's the Greeks. Come here. Greeks, his whole family works here. Whatever you, you know. And Greeks trust nobody. You know what I'm saying? When you, you can't hand the check to the waiter. You got to walk it up yeah. to his 80-year-old wife. I try to explain it. <laughs> and the cash yeah. person. We're God, paranoid people. I never fucking thought about that. I love paranoid people. They don't want nobody people. touching the money. Nobody, yeah. nobody even looks at it. Just pay up front. Yeah. Pay yeah. up front. He's That's when you know you're 90. in a good spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're paranoid people, Greeks. Yeah. We don't Hell trust of an anybody. omelet, though. Hell of a fucking omelet. I mean, the diner, the 24-hour diner, 
Is there anything greater? I love it. As a and, comedian. And that's the thing going back to fucking always wanting to live here. There is nothing that can compare to that. To know that, to, for me, I, I, knowing that Times Square is always lit up is something. And knowing that there's always a fucking diner where fuck people are ordering full meals yeah. at three eggs, soup, salad, bread on the table. Yeah. yeah. Fucking meatloaf, two fucking sides. Whatever you want. Come Whenever. on. Yeah. Whatever you want. Eggs at night, anything. Eggs at uh, night. Dude, going, in, get, going in all fucked up and getting like an omelet. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, it's the best. It's the best. Man. I do tip. I don't want you to think I don't tip. I tip 20%. Okay. But okay. But when I order something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't just walk around and hand people shit. I ain't shit. handing people 20%. And I'm not backing down from this. If I don't order anything, why am I tipping? It, it makes sense. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. But he's not on board. No. No, yeah. he's not. She's servicing the room. And she he's had, not asking her. She, I'm not asking her. So she's, she's, she's getting compensated for the services she provided. For, the, for the other people who ordered, she's getting tips on that. It's not wrong. And here's the thing. A yeah. lot of times when it's they have... Right, when they it's have not right, it's but not right, but it's not wrong. It's not right, but it's not wrong. He just summed it up. Yeah. I'm trash for it, yeah. but I'm not... I don't love it, Yanni, but, but you're not I can wrong. still argue my it, way out of it. It'll hold up in court. <laughs> but just think about this. Just think about this. If she got that section, yeah. having the green room section might take away from other tables that she might have. Right. So she could already be starting off on a low, too. And okay. she sees you on the billboard. She's like, ah. Calls it sick. <laughs> I got the Rona. Yanni P's headlining. But if I do order, I tip big. Nice. So I tip big. Okay. Okay. But, okay. So now I know I'm going to tip somebody for a job they didn't do for me. Yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> Fucking waiters are, there's most sympathy for anyone in this country is waiters. Yeah. That's why he's leaning right. Yeah. He's out in the burbs. He's not tipping. I like Get away it. from my money. If you come on my property, I'll shoot you, you goddamn Libby. <laughs> I live in the suburbs now. Get off my goddamn property. Uh, that's great. I was at Governor's one time, and uh, I ordered a beer, and they stood another guy next to me, and I was working, and uh, the guy next to me dropped a – he paid and then dropped a 20 as a tip, and he left. Yeah. And the other the, – the bartender came up and thought it was mine. He goes, oh, thanks, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> and I didn't tell him it wasn't mine. You piece <laughs> of shit. I was just kind of like, all right. Smart move. Dude, what you call me me like a prince kid. for the rest of the weekend. <laughs> See? I was getting yeah, fucking – used to deal yeah. with Giannis. I was getting shit Come off on. menu. You yeah. don't want him to enjoy that moment. It happens once in a lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. And you're telling him to be honest. Come on. It's like you walk in and like – He was only going to get a dollar from me. You yeah. know what I mean? If you walk into a place and you have the same name as like somebody and the guy just thinks that's you, mm -hmm. you're going to tell him if he's no, treating you fucking – yeah. Or are you just not right going to Right this like, way, yeah. Mr. Foley. You're going to go, oh, I'll he's see what's gonna going like, on. Oh, you're the guy that has the app? You're going to go, no, nah, it's not me. Yeah, yeah. Here's a dollar. Give me a PBR. Yeah. No, nah, yeah. Whoa, like, Eddie Murphy. <laughs> hey, good to see you, man. <laughs> what's up, Jack? <laughs> you got to keep it going, you know? Uh, that's fucking All right, let's roll. We got a couple more, and then we got to go. We got to yeah. get out of here. You okay on time? Yeah, we got to go. Yeah. Thank you so much. We've been running long. <laughs> you guys Thank are you. Philly trash. Oh, yeah. I would stay here all day. Like Eagles hat. This is, I forgot I hear, we were recording. I, hear, I see her, we're getting you and an Eagles hat. I'm yeah. fucking like, I'm in Philly. <laughs> well, when I said own, he yeah. was like, what? He stopped me mid-question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's almost like your dick was out. Yeah. You know, I was like, zip it off. Yeah. Zip that Philly yeah. up. There is with the Philly accent. What do you think is the trashiest accent of all in America? Chicago, Boston, point. Philly, South Southern. I would say uh, Boston. It's vacuum. It's pretty bad. Yeah. I think Baltimore. Baltimore's a grimier Philly. Baltimore's yeah. a good one too. Yeah. That mid Atlantic. Yeah. yeah, that's tough. Philly's up there because Philly has that. You have this. You feel even when you speak it. Yeah. You feel like even if you if you if you use the accent as well when you yeah. hear it. You feel sick to your stomach a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And like it doesn't matter what. Like my niece, I, I got I got a six year old niece. She's yeah. coming she's, out of a cute face. She's too. gorgeous. Like, she's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. She's fun. She's outgoing. But when she says, Can I have a say? <laughs> Dude, I just want to throw up. Yeah. Yeah. Diet coke. Yeah. Diet coke. You're maybe Philly. Maybe Philly, Philly's Baltimore. Man. Florida's bad. Dude. Higgins drinking a soda. <laughs> I want a soda. Yeah, that is weird, weird, uh, weird coming out of a child's face. You're yeah. like, ah, you should be more innocent but than that. But the Midwestern, too, when, a, when when an adult woman has that, you know, oh, hey, how are you That's there? That's shitty, too, just yeah. Like, yeah. You just, All you just don't think she's shitty. educated. Yeah, they're not great. Yeah, accents are sh If you have a heavy accent, you're trash. Yeah. Well, that's like, I mean, yeah. New York's the same as Philly is where the outside of the center, like center, people in center city Philadelphia don't really have an accent. Right. You know what I mean? Like, right. Same with Manhattan, really, right. for the most part. They but don't. Like, Schultz doesn't have an accent. Yeah, I was exactly. mad about Staten that. Staten Island, yeah. uh, you know, the Long Island, that they all, they're the ones with the accent. Brooklyn, That's where it yeah. gets trashy. Yeah, yeah, I was mad about that. We went to Boston uh, a couple of years ago just for like a little, a little getaway. 
um, and stayed like in Boston proper. And like the whole weekend, that's like I'm talking. That's all rich. That's all. Yeah, Boston the whole proper weekend, all, I'm yeah, getting nothing. Money, I'm, I'm yeah. getting fucking ripped off here. Yeah. yeah. I paid for the fucking experience. You want to you want to be in the town. That's yeah, what you want. that's You're exactly looking at it. Billy, yeah. Bobby, Tommy, Johnny. Exactly. You're looking for all that shit. <laughs> and it wasn't until we got on their, their yeah. subway or whatever the fuck they call that thing up there. It's yeah. terrible. Was there was some some the lady fucking train dude. Yeah, yeah, some lady that was like a deuce and a quarter, fucking running <laughs> it, yeah. fucking smoking a Newport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Goodwill like, Hunting's mom. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is hunting. Uh, I want to see that movie about Goodwill Hunting's parents. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we it was we didn't know what to do with him. He was gay. <laughs> like, what do you mean he's gay? He was good at sticks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we told him get the fuck out of here. You're not gonna do iron work or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I love it. All right, I got one or two from Patreon. Guys, as you know, when you join Patreon, we will answer your questions. It's, it's the only way to do it. We get so mm-hmm. many requests from everybody else. That, we love uh, you. That we love you so much for the support. Thank you. Also, the fucking Patreon's cooking. Thanks to everybody that joined. It's fucking fantastic. Uh, this is from Nick. Uh, do you put the twist tie back on the bread, or do you twist it and fold it over and leave it there? I twist it and fold yeah, it over. Yeah, you do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Kid is yeah, trash. Yeah, I Sometimes I won't get a plate, and I'll use the plastic as the plate with the bread and put it on the whatever plastic is there, however bread I'm down and however plastic is there. I'll to make, make the sandwich I'll make on the that? sandwich on the I've plastic. I've done that, too. That's yeah. a savage move, dude. That is savage. This guy's, this guy's making fucking making a sandwich on the bread bag and not dipping? Nuts. It's nuts. Crazy. This guy's out of control. You gotta be this, stopped. This is like a game where I came in hot. You guys, I don't know, pretty classy. Yeah. And at the end, it's like, wow, this kid is trash. He's Tom Brady in the fourth yeah. quarter, baby. It's, what? it's fucking garbage time, dude. Yeah. yeah, it's garbage time. Yeah. Who's doing the shopping up there? Are you, oh, my wife does. Your wife does. Yeah, it. yeah. Um, are you guys the lunch meat family? Yeah. So you make so you got the whole thing set up. I can't lay off baloney. Really? Big baloney guy. Can't wow. I know how bad it is for you and everything. Wait, hold on. Is she getting bologna from the counter or like from the prepackage? No, no, she gets from the. If you get it from the prepackage, oh, dude. You Wait, hold on. Whoever, if someone says they get it, I didn't know they just sold kick it. them off the show. Say you're trash. Yeah, we you don't get, need to do the uh, show. Yeah, you yeah. get sliced bologna oh, from the deli bologna. counter yeah, like right. a fucking gentleman. Like oh, a I've been eating Oscar bologna. Mayer like a jerk off. Yeah, Mom! Man. <laughs> That's fucking trash. What? No. I didn't even know they had it back wow. then. Wow, you didn't even know that's that, how that's a level of trash I didn't know existed. I'm looking yeah. at you like that means his like grandparents are trash. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was just for fancy stuff yeah. like ham and turkey and buffalo <laughs> chicken meat. Yeah. I feel like Yo, I'm a blazing fucking... buffalo chicken from Boar's Head. Good, Good night. night. That's what I do. That, do that. <laughs> roll that up in a piece of American cheese. Yeah, I that'll change your yeah. fucking day, <laughs> yeah. Yanni. Yeah, this guy's then, fucking trash, yeah, man. Yeah, dude, you're doing blazing <laughs> buffalo roll-ups. And then you feel good because there's no bread. No so bread. you're like, this is low calorie. Well, you eat 15 pounds of lunch. Yeah, yeah. fucking ate, so good. You ate 14,000 <laughs> uh, uh, milligrams of sodium. Yeah, it's that. coming yeah. out your pores before yeah. you're even done eating it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking all, dude, who you know. gets a regular chicken if you have the option for blazing buffalo? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> who doesn't get the? Who doesn't get it? Fucking jerk offs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who goes, give, no, 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 give me the unflavored chicken. <laughs> dude, I don't know what they're putting in it, but. That yeah. shit is fucking Who on point. Who the fuck does that? Uh, I like a little cream and sugar <laughs> in my car. <laughs> I don't know about you folks. Blazing <laughs> buffalo me. Oh, yeah, holy shit. Yeah, the options shit. there, it's just always strange to me that someone wouldn't take it. What's the, um, you got you a mayonnaise family? Lo- I love mayonnaise. Okay. No, no, no. I ha- like. Uh, Hold on. Don't yeah. say anything because yeah, yeah. this is big. Okay. Is it Miracle Whip or is it mayonnaise? No, Hellman's mayonnaise. Good. Yeah. Okay. Nice. This is how much mayonnaise I like uh, in college. <laughs> I, I was a lifeguard in college. That's why I didn't. I stayed in D.C. there in summers, and I worked at a pool. Nice. And we did pool operated, but we also worked at a health club. We'd go to Blimpy's to get sandwiches, and I would say I would always say heavy on the mayo. Right. Ooh. This is how much I like mayo. They would never put as much as I like, so I had to figure out a way to tell them how much I wanted. That you wanted more. So this is what I would say everywhere I went because this is what you finally worked. You had a blimpy worked. system. I had a blimpy system. Right. And That's... if you like a lot of mayo, here's and you're trying to figure out how to explain it. And you're in a blimpy's for some reason. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or a Wawa's, and it says more mayo, and that's not what is gonna, that's not going to cut it. You got to talk to the woman. You say this is what you say. Offend me with the mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> they get it. That makes them get it. Offend me with the Offend mayonnaise. Offend me with, and I would say that to them every time. That's how much I love mayo on my sandwich. Offend me with the mayonnaise. Jeez. And they look at me, and then that thing comes fucking dripping in white sauce. Uh, that's, that's the way I like changer, it. Dude. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. You were on the fence before, but I mean, you got fucking, you got hacks at Blimpies. That's crazy. <laughs> Who the fuck eats at Blimpies? The no fucking tricks in a trade. <laughs> I bet you she gets a 20, huh? Yeah. Doesn't she? <laughs> right across the fucking counter. Yeah. Offend me <laughs> with the mayonnaise. It works. I'm Ooh. telling you. If you, if you want to go heavy, just tell them to offend you. 
much. What do you like? You, you like a lot of sauce on something, right? I like a lot of sauce on a lot of things. And usually it comes not as much as you want it, right? Hollandaise sauce and Bernays sauce is big with me. So tell him offend me and with I've, the hollandaise. I've never gotten enough no, hollandaise We need to get sauce. him off the sauces, by the way, okay? <laughs> we don't never, need him ordering extra, extra anything. <laughs> I've never gotten enough fucking hollandaise sauce in my life. Yeah. By the looks of you, you have. <laughs> <laughs> it's anything, not that special of a sauce, if by anything, the way. If anything, they're a little heavy-handed. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, have you ever used disposable? Uh, this is, I'm sorry, one more, and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll wrap it up. This is from Dave. Uh, no, I'm sorry, this is from Chris. Does your family eat holiday meals with disposable plates and utensils? My wife's family does, oh. and I eat with them now, but my family never did. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. What's, her, what's her background? Uh, she's Greek and Italian, Greek okay. and Sicilian, and they, they're from Long Island. Ooh. They're from uh, Long Island. Long, but the food's top shelf. Food's good. When the f- Is that well, Long well, Island trash? Food's really good. Okay. Yeah, okay. food's really top good. Top shelf? What do you mean by top shelf? He's not, he's not, they're not You're getting not 20%. You're not selling it that hard is what, what I'm saying. You mean like what her mother cooks? Is it, is it, is it? So good that it's over the paper plates are overlooked because that's a big thing. If it's if it's yes. mediocre food on paper plates, it's I'm great I'm, food. I'm okay. going to someone great else's food. house, and you okay. can overlook it. Great food. We don't. They don't recycle. We don't. And now I don't because I. Um, you know I. You're I'm in the rough. burbs. I'm in a so, country. Yeah, yeah we, we, we throw let the, the bears yard. have it. <laughs> throw it in the in the in the fireplace. It goes in the fireplace. Really? Yeah, all the paper plates go in the fireplace. So do uh, cardboard boxes. Is that bad? Wait, what do you, what do you, wait, wait so fireplace? hold on. You're, you what? eat you eat Thanksgiving dinner, then go throw the you dishes in the fireplace. You just fucked up. You know that, Holy shit. You just fucked up. That's, I don't, that's, wait a minute. That's not even laughable. That's insane. Yeah. Wait, your, ha- your house now has a fireplace. Yeah. An inside fireplace. Inside not fireplace. like a fire pit out in the ground. No, Dude, no. he's so New York, he thinks no. it's an incinerator. Yeah. He's burning <laughs> shit in his living room. Are you fucking he's throwing kidding He's throwing like that dead dog in there and shit. That's not bad. It's bad to throw. Pa- it's paper. You put it in the fireplace. Buddy, you shouldn't be burning trash in your living room. No. No. Why? That's one. I don't think it's fucking medically. Like you'll be, you'll be, in, you're an inhaler. Yeah, you shit. can't be breathing Dixie fumes fucking yeah. in your. We gotta stop doing that. I yeah, learned it from dude. them, and now I do it. I'm that's a, bad. That's dude. Dude, I have never. Wait, you'll yeah. be sitting there. Let's just say you're sitting there eating. All right, we're cleaning up now. And you just <laughs> yeah, yes. It's like the Titanic. Yeah. Who does that? <laughs> That w- I what are you, hobos? I, fucking trying to keep warm? Dude, that's that's I never nuts. felt bad about it to you guys, and now you guys are making a lot of sense. Wait, what's You're like, making a lot of sense. Hold on, what's like, you, know, you don't know it's weird till you step outside of yourself. <laughs> how how much do you scrape the plates? It's not a clear. You're, you're putting no, like a plate. Whatever's there just goes oh, in. Yeah. This is crazy. Are you fucking like kidding me? Like garbage, yeah, it gets burnt up, yeah. Boxes, too, everything. Old rugs. Anything, yeah. Old cribs yeah, and shit like dogs, that. dogs, whatever's there. <laughs> it's got lawn furniture in there. I mean, you know, what? Do you, if your dog dies, you just put it in the fire. Dead, I mean. Dude, this is not. You're joking, right? No, I'm, if you have a dead dog. You know dog, how bad that's going to smell? It's not going to smell that bad. And it's not going to smell good, It's going to smell like meat, like no. when you cook meat. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> and I, I, I'm a dog lover, so people Extra don't get Extra mayo upset. on that one, huh? <laughs> I'm just saying, how come nobody, like, if your dog dies, why don't you insinuate, why don't you... You know, because those don't get up to that kind of fucking temperature. Yeah, you're That's just slow. You're, you're slow cooking them like that. he's brisket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cooking low and slow, baby. Oh, so I put like them on the Traeger. Yeah. It wouldn't like to sit. Not a Ronco rotisserie chicken. <laughs> no, no. Set it and forget it. See, yeah, I didn't. It's like, it's like offend me with the barbecue. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's why I asked the question. Don't judge. Don't me. tell I, your neighbors that. Yeah. Ask Ben. You'll be Verzi. Let Verzi find out you're burning your trash in your living room. I'm surprised Verzi didn't give you the rundown of how to act out in the suburbs when you got out there. You don't do that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that, okay. All right, well, I mean, yeah. that's all I needed to know. I you you can't come back wow. from that. Yeah. You can't come back from that. Yeah, that's I mean, crazy. I started strong, and now we're what in about the, what about the depths of trash hell. <laughs> what about the plastic forks and shit like that? No, those get... Uh, He's not an animal. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> an, I mean, come on. Put them in the tub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got a shower later. You got bleach yeah. soaking no, in there. No, we, we wash them and reuse those. No, oh. really? No, I'm kidding. My mom, would, my mom, has, a, my mom has levels. Of plastic silverware, and there is one level that looks metal, but it's actually plastic that gets rewashed and reused. Yeah, my mom growing up, growing up under occupation, my mom would reuse paper towels. Oh, I would hang them and dry them. It's a Nazi regime, you know what I mean? This isn't the suburbs. I'm surprised they had paper towels and. No, Nazi occupied. No, she does that now. Oh, she, she does, does that, that now. Oh, from immigra- well, immigrants okay. have that mentality. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's immigrant mentality. Say, I couldn't yeah. see. It's like this is America. Cream. This is Having America, baby. Had Throw them out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it would be Burn weird and turn. seeing like wet paper towels hanging like their clothes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's weird. That's kind of like a mental illness. That's like that just lets you know your trauma sticks with you. Sure. Oh, yeah. 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 For sure. Um. All right. Well, I've I have all the information I need at this point to render a verdict. Uh. 
The man is trash. The man yeah. is fucking trash. You're sharp dresser. I'll give you that. Yeah. You got yeah. a nice. You wear a nice hoodie. Yeah. I dress it up, but it's trash underneath. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah it's yeah. pig with lipstick. Still waters run deep in the trash. Thanksgiving yeah. dinner in your fireplace. I thought that was okay. I thought everybody no. did that. No. no. I, this dude. That's this somebody. A- that's somebody who's only ever been on the L train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is a lipstick with a pig situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah you look good yeah. on the surface. You're great. Off. Connie's killing it. You need some local campaign signs in yeah. your front lawn, and you need a good landscaper, and yeah. you need to stop you doing You need, like, that Jim shit. McKinney yeah. for Comptroller. Yeah, out front. exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. a respectable suburban it behaves, oh, household. Yeah. You yeah. cook out in the backyard, not yeah. in the front. Right, right, right. Are okay. you going to get a pool? Are you thinking about a pool? No, no, no pool. Pools are just insurance nightmares. That's, a, that's me knowing that's classy, yeah, right? I'll give you that. <laughs> that's suburbs one hundred and one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Insurance. Nightmare. Who is cutting the yeah. grass? I think you, you got a landscaper. Yes. Or you do it. You, you do. Yeah, you got a guy. Yeah. Wow. Don't, it's half the season, right? What is it? Sixty yeah. bucks a week. Yeah, yeah. It's not Split it you with had the no wife. interest in getting your own lawnmower and, and, and doing doing it. No, no? I'm a city kid. I don't even yeah, know how. Yeah, how yeah. do you do that? Him on a John Deere wouldn't look good. I didn't even start. Put that on a put that on the Bay Ridge Boys Patreon. Yanni cuts his grass. You're out there setting it on fire. Yeah, I don't know. To do any of that shit, I don't know how to take care of plants, or I just come up with a, 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 a cup full of water and pour it on the yeah, plant. Yeah, 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 that's all I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Club soda. Yeah, just pour it on. Them. Yeah. I give it to Doc Brown's every once in a while. When uh, when food goes bad, is this tra- this is what I do in the country now? I take the food and throw it in the backyard. I'm not against it. Yeah. Uh, like, what kind of food are we talking? Like well, an apple, or like apples, or like shit. a pork loin. And anything that like is going to be a problem, it's going to if, if garbage day's Friday and it's going to smell, and it's Monday, it's going to smell. I'll just throw it in the yard. How far back? As far as I can. I got an anchor. I got an anchor. Arm. Sometimes I'll walk it to the back, but usually and you'll throw it into the tree line, not on the lawn. No, no sometimes not it's in the lawn. lawn. In the, but sometimes the banana peels. Yeah, they're close because those those eventually are gonna melt into the ground. Yeah, in like a year. Your you're, landscaper's yeah. still gonna step on that <laughs> shit when he's cutting the fucking yeah. grass for half the rate and no tip, probably. Yeah. Gash. Gash. He's probably gonna slip, break and an arm, you, now your insurance goes off. You agreed to it. Gash. Gash, you agreed. You're just hucking wow. food, hoping a raccoon shows up so you can feel at home. Yeah, but it's stupid because the deer's come and they bring ticks. I'm learning. I'm yeah, learning. you're learning. Yeah. His kid's got a lot to learn. A lot I got, of learn. I got the learning it's curve. It's not the park yeah, out in Park Slope. Yeah. He's got a lot to learn. I got a lot yeah, don't be feeding the pigeons, all right? Take it easy. Yeah. Throwing the loaf of bread out there. <laughs> yeah, it's essentially what it is. <sighs> this was uh, this was something else. This was man. awesome. This yeah. was so much fun. We love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. big fans. We love, love you, hundred percent. I learned something. We got to the bottom of it together. Yeah, you know? we this did. Sort of this like was a, therapeutic. It's kind of like therapy when yeah. you just you take a good hard look at yourself and you realize these behaviors are not right. No, no, no. they're yeah. uncouth. I knew it was turning, but I didn't say anything. You knew it was turning at the tip. How you got into college. When I when I knew yeah, that yeah. and that's where your brain was going, yeah. I'm like, this guy's got dirt under his fingernails. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True story. You can yeah. Google that. It's funny. And the kid's he's still a popular professor. Really? Yeah. Still kept his clout a little bit? Tenure. You could do anything if you yeah. have tenure in life. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's fucking these teachers. Man. Every dirt bag I know, that's a like, tenure. tenure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's tenure to us. Wait till like, it's like wait till I get tenure, then I'm yeah, really gonna let it fly. Yeah. <laughs> I know a lot a couple of teachers years. fucking ten years. Yeah, yeah it's, it's all like about. the senior That's your writers. twenty and out right Yeah, yeah it's your just, pension. I don't give a shit anymore. Yeah, Damn. do we your homework. It. Who gives a shit? Oh, I got ten. I got ten. Yeah, I give a fuck. Giannis Papas. Anything uh, you want the folks out there to know that they might not already know? What do you got? Uh, obviously, history hyenas. Anything you want to plug? Anything you want to mention? No, you guys nailed it. Yeah, they um, know you. They love you. Yeah, long days podcast. New. It's my solo podcast where uh, we just go and uh, the history hyenas podcast. And um, check my special, please. Blow in the light. Yeah, yeah, check yeah, it, check out. it out. It's, it's, a fantastic it's free on special. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Follow you- me on Instagram, Giannis Papas. Boom. There you go. Uh, no, no, it's all good. By the way, Lonnie, Yanni Long Days is the funniest nickname in the world. <laughs> yeah. Yanni Long Days. Yeah. It's so fucking funny. Yeah. Uh, guys, yeah. thanks so much for listening. Uh, at Kevin Ryan Comedy on all social media. As I said before, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. Those numbers are through the roof. And fucking Patreon. Guys, we appreciate it so much. Thanks for the support. Peace. We love you guys. We'll see you next week. Peace. That Thanks, was fucking dude. fun. Something else, that man. Fun. That was a fucking. Who's built one. this for you? It's, we did it all. Oh, you did, did it? Yeah, yeah. yeah.